let's directly jump to <clears throat> JavaScript. Okay, so uh, let me directly jump to the practical, but again, I want to uh, start in this term. This workshop would be 100% or I can say 99% practical. <clears throat> we keep on writing the code. There's one interesting thing. Okay, I don't have any PPT <clears throat> to just keep on talking about uh, and wasting your time. <clears throat> okay. And the second thing is there is no prerequisite. We are going to start things from very zero. <clears throat> Even though if you don't know programming also, that's very much okay, right? Uh, we will start the things from very zero. <clears throat> but we'll go to very much, we'll try to go to very much in advance level of this uh, topic. <clears throat> before i start i want to tell you one interesting thing thing about this workshop i don't know have you guys realized this point or not but i would like to start this workshop with this point this workshop or maybe you can use the word training <clears throat> is a java script training let me add one more term it's a core java script training <clears throat> normally guys when we heard the term java script uh, there in the training okay there it is been trained or we trained in normally in the frameworks of the JavaScript. <clears throat> okay, framework may be Angular JS, React JS, Vue, maybe Ember, maybe Metro, maybe Mithril, maybe Polymer, maybe Oriel, maybe Backbone, maybe jQuery. Hundreds of frameworks available, guys. Okay, in the market, every framework is doing something for us. <clears throat> okay. But this is not the framework uh, training. It is a core Java script training. But I believe, I believe why we have hundreds plus framework of JavaScript available uh, because and who created this <clears throat> this framework? So all the developer guys, if you try to understand who created the framework, that they, they are great <clears throat> in core concepts of the JavaScript <clears throat> because they know JavaScript very well. And they found writing the code of JavaScript, same thing again and again, again and again, maybe a little bit complex for someone. So let's do some pre-created thing <clears throat> and put in the framework. So anybody can directly use it and utilize this. Okay, obviously there's no framework training, but I just want to motivate you. <clears throat> okay, after this workshop, try to, try to think in a way, let's go and create our own personal framework. Okay, like, like Angular, it's a big one, I know, <clears throat> but things start, you know, one by step by steps, right? It doesn't mean Angular or React come in the one day. <clears throat> it takes years, thousands of guys connected, the multiple team sponsor, multiple company sponsor, like Angular for Google, <clears throat> right? So same thing, maybe, uh, <clears throat> maybe after knowing the core concept of JavaScript, you think, uh, now I know a lot of things about JavaScript as a core programming language, Okay, and I found a lot of challenges in the market that is not been solved. Let's create our own personal JavaScript framework and share it to the world. And if all start liking you, it become your project. Open source project maybe, and everybody start contributing to you. This is the way normally open source projects start. So there's a different point, <clears throat> but I just want to uh, try to give you a path or the motivation that, <clears throat> that you can also think in this way. Let's go and create our framework, especially, <clears throat> especially uh, this is one of my <clears throat> great advice to the earth learner. So everyone who are the earth learner uh, over here, uh, after having this workshop, <clears throat> this is one of your tasks you have to do. And uh, I want, for example, here, if you have somebody with the name of Jack, I want you to create a framework like jack.js or somebody say for Wimmel. So framework will be Wimmel.js, <clears throat> something like this. So obviously this training is not about how to create a framework. Nothing is about framework, but by the end of this program, you come to know what exactly I'm talking about. So very rarely <clears throat> you will normally find a core level of Java script training with the content that I'm going to deliver today. Don't confuse with this content is a very simple pointers we have added <clears throat> so at least this part we will cover but for sure but the content is far more than this <clears throat> okay so so i'm pretty clear so this workshop guys is about 
the core javascript where we're not going to use any of the framework will start the things without the framework so those who don't know framework that's very good don't know right now <clears throat> okay so i think we start from zero <clears throat> so let me guys start javascript <clears throat> from very basics without wasting the further time <clears throat> okay so what is javascript obviously javascript is not a java java is a different uh, programming language and javascript is different <clears throat> there is no link okay but what uh, is javascript and where we use this <clears throat> so where we use the guys this is very important because in the market uh, tons of programming language we have <clears throat> i myself work in 20 different programming language right from from go to dart to python to perl and php and something like this scala <clears throat> okay so so why i use 20 language because every language has their own specialty <clears throat> okay c u is for different purpose python we use for different purpose uh, php we use for different purpose and they are good in that purpose and anybody has that particular requirement they call php anybody has that particular requirement uh, they call scala <clears throat> okay so every language specializes in one thing. So it's, it's not like competition, which you want to use, which you want not to use. <clears throat> okay. Similarly, JavaScript is also one of the language and that has a one purpose. And if you have that purpose or requirement, <clears throat> just go and use JavaScript. <clears throat> so what is that purpose? So to understand this purpose, guys, I have to go to my browser, <clears throat> maybe Chrome browser. <clears throat> okay. Or maybe Firefox browser or XYZ uh, browser. <clears throat> So I have to go to one of my browser. Let's say this is the Chrome uh, browser I have. <clears throat> okay. Now, what I want to tell you guys here in this browser, now you, what you see here is a website. <clears throat> okay. Let me open one website called Right Heart. This is the one name by just come in my mind. <clears throat> this is one website. Okay. Or <clears throat> sometimes website, we also use the word called web app. Like Facebook is one web app. <clears throat> okay. So this is a different point. But guys, in this website or in this web app, whatever you are seeing right now. <clears throat> okay, for example, you're seeing the content home about mentor. You see this kind of box. <clears throat> okay, so uh, so and try to understand one thing. Uh, uh, we always think <clears throat> in this way, browser is the one, I'm like Firefox, Chrome, or Edge are the one who will help us to open the website or to browse the website. <clears throat> okay. But now if you think in other way, okay, as a developer perspective, browsers are the one <clears throat> who browser are the one who is something like an interpreter. <clears throat> interpreter. <clears throat> they are pure interpreter for you. <clears throat> what I mean by this. Okay. So technically we can write. <clears throat> What is interpreted again? I don't want to discuss for, but technically we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll open and go and write some code as X equals to five is a variable. I want print X. <clears throat> they will print, obviously this is not a JavaScript syntax. Just want to give you a very high level idea. <clears throat> okay. So this is a code and this code you want to run, or maybe sometimes you say you want to interpret. <clears throat> okay. So what is, what do you need? You need some program, some interpreter. Who will understand this code and run for you? <clears throat> okay. So similar guys, the 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 the, the program <clears throat> or the interpreter who run this code for you are interpreter. So what I'm trying to tell you guys here is your browser is purely the interpreter. <clears throat> okay. Whatever you're seeing right now <clears throat> as a final website is a output of the interpreter that is who is the interpreter here your browser <clears throat> that's a chrome browser so this what you see here is the output for example if i want google.com <clears throat> you know this is the output of my interpreter here the interpreter is chrome browser <clears throat> but guys if anybody give you output after run the code they need the code <clears throat> okay so we'll pass some kind of code like this <clears throat> They understand this code and give the output back to us. <clears throat> but but which language we use <clears throat> to write the code? <clears throat> to write the code. So guys, it depends what you want 
to do in the browser. <clears throat> if you just want to print just name, some images, something like this. Okay, so in the browser, if you want to print something, <clears throat> so this is, let's say this is the open browser, nothing is here. If you want to print something here, okay, then we use a language called HTML. So HTML has a responsibility where we write the code in HTML and whatever we put in the HTML, they help you to print something, <clears throat> show something, show the image, show the link and something like this. Okay, but let's say I want to print <clears throat> machine learning here, for example. After I print machine learning, I want to give some look and feel, you know, see some box come up with curve box come up and, you know, this kind of radius I want to do here. Uh, so if you have this kind of requirement where I have content print, but after content print, I want to give some look and feel or some kind of style I want to give to my content, mainly the look and feel, <clears throat> normally also known as UI part, user interface part, then the role of CSS come in play. CSS is called style sheet. <clears throat> so CSS is one guys who gonna help you <clears throat> to, to do the things, to do give the look and feel. Maybe most of you guys might know, just, I'm just giving you very quick basics so that guys, you will come to know what is the role of then JavaScript, <clears throat> okay? But today guys, we require some knowledge of HTML, some knowledge of CSS. Don't worry guys, if you don't know the way I'm going to write my code, if you don't know HTML and CSS, that's very much okay <clears throat> to understand what I'm, uh, what is the uh, HTML code and CSS code will do for you. This training is not about CSS and HTML, but we need this. <clears throat> Why? You come to know in a minute. Okay. So this is a role of HTML CSS. <clears throat> but what I want, <clears throat> I want whatever I print here, <clears throat> what I show the look and feel, <clears throat> I need some more thing. Okay. For example, uh, maybe in this website uh, might not be as such <clears throat> we have, but, <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> but let's say if you go to Google. <clears throat> okay. So this is a <clears throat> uh, website. Why you see this kind of uh, name here? Because of HTML, why we have this kind of look and we see some small button come up with look, a small shadow set area because of CSS. <clears throat> okay, but why you see this box here? <clears throat> because again of HTML, but let's say I'm typing Linux. <clears throat> I'm typing Linux world. <clears throat> okay, you can see guys, lots of name automatic come. <clears throat> Behind this, we have a concept called Ajax. That's the tomorrow topic. We'll discuss later how this thing works. <clears throat> but what I'm trying to tell you guys here is, right? If you do something, <clears throat> or if you interact with your uh, with your browser, <clears throat> okay? And I want my browser understand what I actually I'm doing right now. <clears throat> okay, what I mean by this, just give me two minutes. Okay, I want to show you with a very interesting demo. What is the JavaScript? <clears throat> okay, then I will start JavaScript from the basics. Because first we do should know what is JavaScript. But right now, guys, what are you doing here in Google also? Let's say <clears throat> internship, right? So these names come up, right? We are not typing anything, automatically just come up. <clears throat> but somebody helping us, right? There's a lot of things there behind the scene, no doubt. But something is helping us. Who is getting this information to Google? Uh, who is taking this information from the Google and providing to you. <clears throat> okay, here the role of, lot of role of JavaScript come in play. What I mean by this, I don't, I know you don't understand what, what I'm talking about. In a two minute demo <clears throat> that I'm going to create right now with the code, you understand the power of the JavaScript. <clears throat> but before this, I want to show you one small thing. <clears throat> this is <clears throat> the website. Okay, this is the app, maybe you can say. Okay, in this app, right, you have HTML, you have CSS, and you have JavaScript. How we know the guy, whoever created this app, provide this code to my browser. If I do right click <clears throat> and view page source, okay, I can see how this website and web page has been created. <clears throat> so you can see guys, lots of content here. <clears throat> okay, and in this content, <clears throat> in this content, if I try to show you, uh, uh, this, if you see this one, Dave, Dave, uh, it is, uh, it is actually HTML. What do you see? This kind of uh, looks complex, but it's not. They're not complex. You'll see 
uh, today and tomorrow. So these are pure JavaScript code, or maybe somewhere they also put some uh, CSS also <clears throat> for, for for pretty much look and feel. <clears throat> okay, so so this is because there's a small website, nothing much you see here. <clears throat> but uh, if you see the source code, you can see almost every website HTML CSS. For example, if you see this side, if I do <clears throat> Control U also. <clears throat> So you can see here, this is a pure HTML, this is the CSS, and this is a script, it's a Java script. <clears throat> All the thing guys work together to, to, to have your final uh, website or final front end. <clears throat> so what we see right now guys is the front end for you. <clears throat> okay, so what a front end, full stack development, maybe in upcoming discussion, we will discuss if you want, but let me focus more toward JavaScript. <clears throat> so what is JavaScript guys? I haven't explained you yet. Just give me two minutes. I'm holding for a one minute. So just, just give me one minute, please. We'll, we'll continue. Okay, uh, so so guys, let's continue. Uh, let's me start JavaScript. What exists out? This practical of two minutes will give you a complete clarity. What is JavaScript? <clears throat> okay, so I want to tell you one small thing. That's my, my team has been said to me to announce to you. Uh, by chance, guys, <clears throat> right? We we have a over registration of this workshop. <clears throat> okay. So number of connections, what we had planned. So registration is, registration is over. So we are so sorry that uh, lots of guys is not able to connect <clears throat> this meeting because of the over registration. But one advice to you, <clears throat> okay, if you disconnect your meeting, so maybe somebody will get your place. <clears throat> okay, you won't get the chance again to connect back. <clears throat> Just want to tell you. So I don't want you guys being you know, after by chance you disconnect and you try to connect, they say, uh, you know, an ex limit exceeded something. <clears throat> so that's what I want to tell you here before we continue. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> what is JavaScript, guys? So, let's start writing a code, <clears throat> okay, to show you what JavaScript is and what it will do for you. <clears throat> so, what I'm doing right now, I'm in the Windows. I'll open my Windows command prompt. <clears throat> And I'll go to one of my folder called document <clears throat> and creating a directory of folder called um, JavaScript <clears throat> workshop <clears throat> folder. <clears throat> okay. And I'll just go inside this folder. You don't have to do this thing from, <clears throat> from your um, uh, command prompt. You can do this thing from your normal <clears throat> graphical also. Okay, so I just go to document, <clears throat> just go and create JavaScript folder. Why I'm doing this? Because all of my code, what I'm going to put <clears throat> over here, all of the code I would like to put <clears throat> in this folder. I'll share this folder to you so you have a further copy of this code. <clears throat> okay, and now what I'm doing, I'm using a notepad to write the code. Let's say this is my basic. <clears throat> okay, now understand one thing. Uh, now understand one thing. If you want <clears throat> to create a page, or maybe website, okay? And it's one thing, <clears throat> if you don't able to see, show anything, <clears throat> okay, nothing will work. Now the CSS, now the JavaScript. What I mean by this, you'll understand in a minute, but if you want to present anything like content, image, your page should be normally in the HTML format. <clears throat> you normally start with HTML. <clears throat> Why in a minute again, you'll understand. <clears throat> so this is a very basic HTML piece. <clears throat> okay, this is the different folder I go. So <clears throat> JS workshop. <clears throat> so let me create a new page. <clears throat> okay, you can create it here from here also, like simple. But extension, just be, keep in mind, extensions right now should be in HTML format. <clears throat> okay, and what I'm going to do, I want to show something over here. <clears throat> okay, so let's say I want to print hey Lenny's work. <clears throat> That's all. So simple, very basic HTML form has been created. <clears throat> and you want to uh, 
run this page, nothing is special because the extension is HTML, they automatically load in your default browser. I double click and the output come. <clears throat> the output has nothing, nothing is special here. <clears throat> okay, but I want to tell you guys, whatever you want to present in your browser, right? HTML is the one who gonna help you. <clears throat> Well, HTML one one who gonna help you in some more way. For example, HTML say, I want, please, can you do one thing? Uh, I have one more content to be right. Uh, let's say Wimmel. <clears throat> okay, both. If I refresh, both come in one single line. I want they come in a different different paragraph. So we can write some HTML uh, that's normally known as tags. Let's go P tag, paragraph tag. <clears throat> okay, something like this. So I want this come in first paragraph. I want come this come in second paragraph. Now if I refresh, <clears throat> then you can see different lines or different paragraph, they're gonna come up. But it's simple, I think most of you guys know. <clears throat> but it's just very simple thing. Uh, whatever data you have, <clears throat> you write in this page, save it. If you reload the page, they will present you in your page or browser. <clears throat> but in this content from here to here, if you want to do something, let's say I want to do this guy bold, so I can start this tag. I can end this tag. <clears throat> okay, inside the tag, we will write some keyword. That's keyword from HTML, and every keyword has a meaning. <clears throat> so one of the keywords could be. Okay, technically in the HTML world, this entire box is known as tag, but whatever put inside the tag is known as element. <clears throat> okay, just keep this in mind because while writing the JavaScript code, this keyword is gonna help us. Okay, so one of the example of element is B. One of the example is P, one of the example is maybe D. <clears throat> so a lot of element, this is called HTML elements. We have. <clears throat> Every element will do something. So they start the bold here till we close. So this is the way we close. So from here till here, they will bold the thing. <clears throat> okay, the bolder things. So this guy is about HTML as much enough right now to understand this. <clears throat> okay. So finally, what I'm talking about, guys, if you want to present anything in the browser, <clears throat> okay, page. Maybe content, maybe images, right? HTML is the one who's gonna help you. <clears throat> okay, this one. But you're going to give some look and feel here. CSS we need. We'll not read it right now. We will see how to use CSS. This plugin class is not CSS, but <clears throat> why I will use CSS because I will show you how to integrate CSS with JavaScript to do some some cool stuff here. <clears throat> but right now, <clears throat> let's talk more about JavaScript. <clears throat> Okay, now understand the thing, guys. This is a very interesting concept. I'm going to explain you, all right? <clears throat> okay, right now, <clears throat> if you talk about this particular page in your browser, <clears throat> the beautiful thing, guys, about your browser, maybe Chrome or Firefox, they know whatever you are doing right now. <clears throat> Even though right now you are not moving your mouse, they know you are not moving your mouse. <clears throat> If you take your mouse up, they know you take your mouse up. You take your mouse left, right, <clears throat> you're just moving here and there. Every activity, whatever you're doing on the top of this piece, <clears throat> your browser know. <clears throat> it doesn't matter Chrome browser or maybe, <clears throat> maybe your uh, Firefox browser. Even though you, you <clears throat> select this guy, they know you selected something. <clears throat> but they also know you selected second paragraph. If you click here, they know you clicked somewhere. <clears throat> Even though they don't know the right position also. For example, if you click here, they know this is the position where you click. This is the person you click. <clears throat> this is the uh, HTML tag on the on those or you click. <clears throat> Everything they know. Okay. And technically, guys, uh, in this browser world, whatever you're doing on the top of browser with your mouse or maybe sometimes with your keyboard uh, keys. <clears throat> okay, they know everything. Even though you press the key, they know that you press the key, you unpress the key, they know you unpress the key. Every uh, thing you do, <clears throat> that means they understand your feeling, you they understand what is going right now. Okay, technically, here this concept is known as event. <clears throat> so every event, <clears throat> whatever you do, <clears throat> okay. This is your browser. And obviously guys, normally in the browser, we always open a page. This page is also known as web page, maybe sometime known as web app. <clears throat> so this page I'm talking about, okay. Whatever you do on the top of browser, okay. 
or maybe you're not doing, but they know everything <clears throat> about you. Technique is called event. Okay. So technique, there's a lot of events <clears throat> we have. Okay. For example, if I go and click in this line, so they know internally from where this line come up, they know this line come from HTML, but in HTML, which element give provide this line? So P is the element who provide this line <clears throat> and there's a two P. But they know the first P is the one, first element is the one, <clears throat> are the one who provide this content. So if I take the mouse on top of this, they know <clears throat> the first P I have at this person, somebody take the mouse. If I click here, they know somebody click on. <clears throat> so these are known as events. <clears throat> and every event, we have a name. For example, if somebody click, then the event name is called on click. Somebody clicking on it. If I take the mouse, they say I somebody has or take the mouse on, so it's called on mouse or <clears throat> like I said, lots of events <clears throat> browser has provided. Again, I'm repeating, guys, who has provided this event? Who understand you? <clears throat> right? Or who is trying to understand you? Your browser. So browser guys has provided this event to you and say, I know, I know your feeling, I know what you're going on, what, what you're doing. <clears throat> so what how gonna it help us? It help you guys to get lots of interesting and fascinating applications and the website. <clears throat> okay, a lot of animations, tons of things you can do. We'll create everything from the scratch without using any framework. <clears throat> a lot of framework available. You can take the code, put the pre-created methods, and they will do the thing for you. But no, we'll do, we'll do everything from the scratch without taking any help from any of the framework. <clears throat> okay. So there's a video of this workshop, <clears throat> but try to understand one thing, your browsers, not the pages, <clears throat> not the code of the pages, right? Provide this, your browser provide these events. <clears throat> okay, browser provide this event. Okay, but now we know, we now we know <clears throat> that if I take the mouse here or click here, browser know we are clicking <clears throat> and literally browser know behind the scene. <clears throat> but how can I, how can I take this, 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 uh, <clears throat> you know, take help from the browser. <laughs> so browser say, if you're clicking on me, I understand. So if you want something else, I do for you <clears throat> while you click, okay, let me know. <clears throat> so, because I know what you're doing, but you can also tell me one more extra thing that while somebody click on this, do X, Y, Z for me, <clears throat> do X, Y, Z thing for me. I can do for you. For this, you have to interact with me. You have to tell me what you want. <clears throat> you have to tell your instructions. And guys, normally in the computer world, <clears throat> if you want to tell your instruction to anyone, <clears throat> maybe to <clears throat> me, to your where is my mouse? <clears throat> to your Windows, to, to VLC player, here, <clears throat> maybe browser. Okay, if you want to tell guys your instruction, you need some kind of programming language <clears throat> guys here if you talk about browser the main programming language browser understand <clears throat> is ja javascript <clears throat> okay so think like this guys if i to say browser can you please click here do something browser don't understand my language but english for hindi <clears throat> if you want browser will understand something what you're talking about your instruction so your instruction should be in a language called javascript language <clears throat> So guys, here the role of one of the role of one of the important role of JavaScript come in play. <clears throat> so with the help of JavaScript, okay, with the help of JS, that's called JavaScript, <clears throat> we can interact with your browser. <clears throat> that is equals to we can interact with your app or website <clears throat> or web app or web page maybe. <clears throat> okay, but who are we? We are the just human beings. So how we can interact with the browser while writing the JavaScript code. So we have to just write the code and the code will write our instructions, what I want to do. And I'll tell my JavaScript, give this code to browser and say, browser, do you understand what JavaScript code? They say, I, yes, I am the interpreter for the JavaScript. <clears throat> and that's what guys I was talking about. <clears throat> okay. So your <clears throat> browser is again, uh, interpreter for a language. And one of the important languages JavaScript can interpret. <clears throat> is browser can interpret is your javascript <clears throat>
So, right? Or even not, we don't any, need any kind of interpreter. For example, if you go to Scala, Python, we have a different software come up, interpreter come up to run the code. Here we don't require, browser is the one who run the code for us. <clears throat> Just as a quick demo. <clears throat> and don't worry guys, what I'm doing right now, I will explain you <clears throat> step by steps. But as a quick demo, <clears throat> what I'll tell to my browser, browser, you know where is this P is because you are the one who presented this. <clears throat> you know where this P is, this paragraph element is. So I want, <clears throat> I also I also want to know one thing. So if somebody come on you, <clears throat> on mouse over, you know something is going on. <clears throat> Means you know this event. Okay. So let me refresh because you change anything in the code. Okay. Because browser is the one who going to run this. <clears throat> How they run? After you provide the code, how to get the new code, refresh this. <clears throat> okay, so now you're taking my mouse here, nothing is happening because this is the by default <clears throat> thing your browser do. They say, I know you're taking the mouse. If you write here, if you don't write here, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but if you want, if I take, if you take your mouse over this par paragraph, <clears throat> then I will do something for you. Just tell me. Okay, for example, this something may be, this function I will discuss in a minute, it's called alert. <clears throat> and say, hi, so what is function guys how i'm writing this syntax don't worry okay we will <clears throat> discuss in 10 minutes when i start javascript code from very basics just want to show you <clears throat> one small thing here. <clears throat> just again let me refresh this page and now what you see guys again i take the pay, pay mouse in the top of this text <clears throat> they say i know you take your mouse over but this time you ask me to do something what Give me alert. The alert is one. What do you see here in a minute? See here. If I take the mouse, some pop up come up. This is called alert, and here they print the message called hi. <clears throat> okay. Or maybe take one small example here. <clears throat> okay. I want as soon as my mouse come up. Okay. I want this this p. <clears throat> okay. I want what is content inside this p. It's called hair lines world. It will be <clears throat> automatically hidden or not hidden. It will be removed. <clears throat> okay, don't worry about the syntax. We'll discuss everything from stress. I just want to show you <clears throat> the JavaScript. So I'm, I'm refreshing this page. <clears throat> okay. So we have software called uh, function key five. So function five, five also we can refresh. Now, what do you see, guys? <clears throat> I take this mouse. My browser know I'm taking the mouse over this, but nothing we have mentioned here what to do. If I take mouse over this space, <clears throat> they will, they will make my this content <clears throat> null. So if I see here, as soon as I take the mouse, you can see is is null, <clears throat> it's removed. Okay, on the fly. Okay, so I can do this thing also in other way also. <clears throat> I can go to my HTML, remove the content. That's all. But that's all. I, I don't want this. <clears throat> Maybe I create this website as a space. <clears throat> Who want to use this? My customer. I don't know what customer want. I want my customer have some interact. <clears throat> interact with my page. <clears throat> okay, it's called user <clears throat> interactive or interact I want. And how user interact, guys? Understand one thing. If you open the website, there's only two ways you can interact. Mostly, mostly two ways. <clears throat> okay, one is your keyboard or with your mouse. Now we have camera also. We have audio mic also to interact. There's a different point. <clears throat> Okay, but typically we use uh, keyboard and the mouse. So there's a less, I create the web page, less the user interact the way they want to interact. Maybe if user come here, this might become game. <clears throat> okay, we take the mouse or maybe something uh, go in the wallet <clears throat> as a selected, something like this. <clears throat> so I want the page to be interactive by user with the keyboard and mouse. Uh, so how, how can I do this? I know the browser, I'm the browser. I know everything what the user is doing, but what? <clears throat> to do and when this JavaScript is. Because this is one of the code of the JavaScript, not this one. This is the one of the code of the JavaScript. <clears throat> okay. So I think that much knowledge is enough right now to start the JavaScript with. <clears throat> so if you have any website, and that's what guys are happening in Google also. <clears throat> so on the Google, and you start typing here. So you are interacting <clears throat> with this app. And as soon as typing, they keep on understanding what you're talking about. They go to Google, get the content back. So it's, for this, there are a lot of more things they're doing behind the scene <clears throat> that we'll discuss. But again, if, if the JavaScript is not there, thing won't work the way, you know, the automatic help or session, keyword session gonna come. 
right? It's for everything. If you go to Facebook, if you go to any of the web app or website, without the JavaScript, uh, it is almost uh, like impossible to interact with your pages. <clears throat> okay, so there's a very quick <clears throat> meaning I just want to tell you before I start. <clears throat> okay, one more small thing, guys. Again, this page. So if I do again, control U or view source code, entire source code load. <clears throat> okay, so whatever you write a code in HTML, maybe in CSS, you will see in the future, or maybe JavaScript, entire code go to browser. <clears throat> browser interpret this, give the output. So this is the output <clears throat> of this code. Okay, who interpret it? Who run it? Browser. <clears throat> Plus, normally, guys, when you give the output, <clears throat> for example, this is the code. Uh, normally, is a more, more, lot of language guys support this code, like say Python. <clears throat> so if I ask Python to run this code, they only print five. That's all. Program done. <clears throat> okay. So how you can further interact? Interact. You can't. <clears throat> but here, browser give you a capability. After output come up, now even though output come up. Browser say, I know <clears throat> what is going on. I know what is going on, right? So I make this code very interactive. Here I say, if you take the mouse over, I will hit in this guy. If you take, click here, I will do something. <clears throat> so, so very quickly, <clears throat> if you click here, so there's an event called on click. <clears throat> By default, they don't do anything for you. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> Click that they, they're not doing anything for you but here if i say <clears throat> on click and when somebody click give me alert and print <clears throat> say linux <clears throat> okay so if i now if i refresh my code change but click here <clears throat> nothing is happening here why is this not happening because they understand one small syntax <clears throat> no mostly in the programming language if you want to write uh, double code so code inside code it won't work so outer code mostly maybe double code. <clears throat> okay, so double code inside single code you can put. This might be one of the reasons why it's not working. <clears throat> okay, so refresh. I click here. This pop up come up. So <clears throat> my browser say I know about this paragraph and this paragraph. What to do with this guy? <clears throat> okay, who instruct me? I am a browser. Who instruct me what to do? Okay, JavaScript. So JavaScript one who will help me to instruct what to do. Okay. So this guy is a very quick introduction what JavaScript can do for you. Tons more things they more uh, do for you. <clears throat> but let me start the thing from zero. Don't worry what I write here. Uh, you guys come to know everything and you can create something by yourself. <clears throat> it's a very base, smallest demo. We'll see tons more thing about this. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, before I start, JavaScript from again from zero, <clears throat> from zero. Okay. Uh, I just want to tell you one small thing. <clears throat> okay. We'll do a one break in between. So after the break, I mean, when I announce the break or uh, and uh, when I conclude my training for today, then the time, guys, I check my QA. <clears throat> so that, that time, guys, if you have any query, you can post it. Right now, I'm not checking any QA. So don't post any of your queries over here. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> so let's start, guys. Uh, we're writing the code from the scratch. <clears throat> okay. So, guys, for writing the code, what I'm doing, either I can take the help of my <clears throat> notepad to write the code, or instead of notepad, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of ID uh, integrated developer environment. You can go for notepad only, <clears throat> but you can go for Sublime Atom Notepad plus plus whatever you guys know you can use. Here, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. <clears throat> it's one of the ID. In the code process, guys, nothing will change. When I'm using this ID, just it will give faster way to write the code. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> so I'm using this ID. If you want to use the same ID, search Visual Studio Code <clears throat> in internet. Okay, and it will give you free download. Download it for your respective operating system. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, and now what I'm doing, guys. I would like to put all of my code <clears throat> in this folder in documents. So I load this folder here, file, open folder, <clears throat> document, and JS workshop. <clears throat> so my entire folder will be loaded here. <clears throat> okay, guys, the same page coming. <clears throat> 
same code, nothing. Just they give you highlights. All right. If it's index issue, they will also help us and something like this. <clears throat> right. So this is one page. But let me guys create a one more new page from where I'm going to start the thing from where you. <clears throat> okay. So this option to create a new page. Uh, let's say this is my first. <clears throat> okay. Dot HTML. Understood one thing. <clears throat> okay. Understood one thing. If you don't able to show anything in the page, how can you control? <clears throat> Okay, and who will show the content on the page? Mostly estimate, 99.9%. Even though JavaScript, we also have a way, but mostly estimate. <clears throat> so typically, we always create a web page, typically in HTML form. <clears throat> okay, if you know other programming language, that's called PHP, Python, Ruby, there's a different point, JSP, ASP. So this different point, but typically, if you just talk about a basic page, we always create in estimate. <clears throat> okay, and inside the HTML, we put JavaScript to do something. <clears throat> So this is a pure first page and let me <clears throat> put something here. So this is first line. <clears throat> and I want this line to be come in one paragraph, paragraph start, paragraph close is an HTML <clears throat> element. <clears throat> okay, save, uh, run this page, this page come up here, double click, <clears throat> this page come up, right? Now what I want, <clears throat> okay, I want uh, to introduce JavaScript <clears throat> here. This is pure HTML. I want to introduce, introduce JavaScript. So JavaScript guys is language. <clears throat> okay. And language guys, we have, we can do lots of things. <clears throat> okay. For example, in the JavaScript language, we can say, I want to create a variable X that has a value equal five. <clears throat> then I want to say, I want to print the value of X. <clears throat> so guys, every programming language has a different way to print, but in JavaScript, if you want to print anything <clears throat> on the top of this page, so we have a function called <clears throat> function called document dot write. <clears throat> okay. You can take this function to print something. For example, x is a variable. I want to print it. <clears throat> so the one statement normally we uh, we write semicolon to close. It. <clears throat> so that's all, guys. So you know normally in programming language we set the variable. <clears throat> so x equal five, and we want to print something. A write is a function <clears throat> to print. Like in normal programming language, we have a print function. Here we have a write as a function. <clears throat> what is document here? Uh, you can think it is a one kind of object, but don't worry guys, what is object is a very important topic for today. We are going to this. <clears throat> so don't worry much about this keyword, but just focus on write. Write means it will print something for you. <clears throat> Where? On your screen. <clears throat> so how can we check this? So if I refresh this page, <clears throat> We'll see, but I know guys, what I expected is, is not come up here, <clears throat> right? What I expected, I want value for X to be printed here, <clears throat> let's go five. But here guys, they printed the entire code <clears throat> of the language called JavaScript. <clears throat> Why? Because, because right now we're putting everything in HTML page, how a browser come to know okay, this is the HTML content, this is the normal content, this is the normal content. <clears throat> okay, normal content. And from here, my code start of the JavaScript. <clears throat> so tell your browser that from here, JavaScript start and from here, JavaScript close. So we have a special element we have or uh, tag we have called script. <clears throat> okay, start the script and end the script. So script is a one special, <clears throat> uh, <a> special <clears throat> tag where in HTML, to tell your HTML, from here till here, this is not the normal content. Don't print <clears throat> the way you print it. Treat this guy as JavaScript. Instruct to the browser that this is the code we are providing to you. You have the one, you just use this code <clears throat> to run it the way JavaScript runs. <clears throat> okay, so, so technically guys, you want to write any JavaScript code inside HTML, you have to put in this way. Put inside script start and close the script. <clears throat> now, if I refresh this page, <clears throat> you can see now, five as output come <clears throat> till here they will print as it is or whatever you print here <clears throat> okay, but after this they give the only the output of the javascript <clears throat> it means anything that you know about javascript you're going to know about the javascript in the future <clears throat> put inside this script. for example you have one more uh, function guys in javascript it's called alert <clears throat> okay so alert will also do something like write the only difference is, for example, if I say alert and say hi, <clears throat> Wimmel, 
Okay, so high memory is string, so I put in single quote or maybe put in double quote also. <clears throat> so what alert will do as soon as this function run, <clears throat> okay, so let me refresh this to run that to load the code and as soon as the code the load, load uh, as soon as the code load, they run the JavaScript. <clears throat> and what do you see? This pop up come up. So this pop up with the content come up. So if you want to show any pop up like this, then we have a function called alert. <clears throat> so alert will do this thing for you. <clears throat> okay. And one more thing, guys, to be noticed till the time alert run, <clears throat> they hold your page. Sometimes it's helpful. They hold the page. They won't show you anything. They won't go to next. <clears throat> okay. So as soon as I say, okay, okay, then you go and print the further thing. So sometimes we need guys in the pages. We click somewhere. I want my page to be hold. They don't go to next page <clears throat> and they, do, they don't do something else. So mostly they use alert there. <clears throat> So like this, we have lots of function in the uh, JavaScript to do something for you. <clears throat> but one more thing, guys, I have uh, what you're seeing right now. As soon as I, I load the page or somebody load my website, okay, all the content come up, all the JavaScript code <clears throat> run for me. But I don't want my JavaScript code run uh, always. <clears throat> I want to control my code. <clears throat> but I want, I want this code to be run on, only when, when I need. <clears throat> Or well, let's say I want to run only this code. <clears throat> this code I want to have a control. <clears throat> I want to run this code only whenever I want. <clears throat> it's not like this as the page load automatically run for me. <clears throat> so for this, what can I do? I can put this code in a block. <clears throat> block, I can give some name. <clears throat> you can give any name. And we'll tell uh, LW your name. Whenever I call you, run the code inside. <clears throat> I guess normally in our typical world, this is known as function. And normally we write the function in this way. <clears throat> and to tell JavaScript is a function, we have a keyword here called function. <clears throat> so function is a keyword. <clears throat> to tell JavaScript that LW is function, you can give any name, whatever you want to. LW here means Linux code. <clears throat> okay. So as a benefit function, you guys might know. One of the benefit is what I put inside the function. <clears throat> this called block of code. It is in, in your control means whenever you Ask this function to run, then only this code. Run. <clears throat> so, example, if I refresh this, nothing gonna hap happen. <clears throat> okay. Uh, whenever I, note, uh, I call <clears throat> this function, then only they run. Okay. And second benefit of function, you guys know, if same code you want to repeat multiple times, run multiple times, just put in one box. <clears throat> it's called block of code or suite of code, and give the name that is called function. <clears throat> so, multiple benefit function has. So this is a way guys to create a function. <clears throat> now, right now guys, they're not running this alert. <clears throat> Why? Because we are not calling this function. How to call this function? Simple. <clears throat> we can call the function here. <clears throat> so let me guys write something here. <clears throat> let me write third line. <clears throat> By for example. So multiple text I write is pure HTML. See here, multiple text come up. <clears throat> But you guys know in the HTML, what you type, second line, first line, they don't understand the lines. So if you want to do after this, new line come up. So we write BR as a tag, as a break tag <coughs> in the HTML. It is something like new line. <coughs> so pure HTML code, nothing about JavaScript. And why this is not JavaScript? Because if you see, I am out of the JavaScript. <coughs> My script closed here. So what do you write after this? Whatever you write before this, it is normally treated as a text or HTML content. <coughs> <clears throat> normal output <clears throat> but if you want to call your function just let me call over here <clears throat> so i'm calling the function which function the function i created <clears throat> so what happened so the things not happen the way i wanted okay instead of the call the print as it is because i told you guys what i put outside the script they treat as a normal string so they never know this is a function <clears throat> to tell this guy this is a function again again you have to instruct your browser with the help of <clears throat> the script keyword and say what I put inside the script. <clears throat> okay, treat these guys as a normal is done as a normal text. Treat these guys as a, as a <clears throat> JavaScript function. So either function is created by you, <clears throat> okay, by us. So wherever you find this function, call it <clears throat> means run it. Okay, so now if I refresh, <clears throat> you can see this output come up means they are running it, they're calling it. <clears throat> And the further is better. Okay, so now, guys, one or two conclusion here is okay. You can 
run JavaScript code, write JavaScript code, call JavaScript function anywhere in the HTML <clears throat> multiple times. So I can write a script here, again script here. I want to call one more time <clears throat> JavaScript. I can again type the code. <clears throat> Same function, other function I can copy. <clears throat> I can run multiple times because the function I can call multiple times. <clears throat> so if I refresh, first time the call, again second time the call, <clears throat> and then again. Okay. So finally, guys. What is JavaScript you want to run? <clears throat> you have to put inside the script. <clears throat> okay, this is one thing. Let me comment these lines. <clears throat> well, let me comment these lines. <clears throat> if you want to comment anything in HTML, this is the way you comment. You comment start. <clears throat> and this is a multi-line comment. So I'm doing the call. <clears throat> so right now, guys, I'm coming to HTML. Right? JavaScript is only this one, but from here till here, everything is HTML. <clears throat> So this is a way to do multi-line comment. Let me comment this line, <clears throat> or let me comment also this part. <clears throat> okay. So this is a way to create HTML <clears throat> comment. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I want here, we have a LW function. <clears throat> they are not running it. <clears throat> okay. How to run it? Either you can call this function anywhere inside the script. <clears throat> this is also one of the way to call <clears throat> or run any function or run any JavaScript code. Or other way would be <clears throat> that is very important, very very important for us <clears throat> to know. <clears throat> other way is in this way. For example, if you ask your browser, "Do you know what is this?" They know. I know. I am the one who who process this. I know this is a paragraph. <clears throat> Let me create one more paragraph here, <clears throat> somewhere here. P <clears throat> start second para <clears throat> or P close. <clears throat> okay, so if I again run, so this they they say I know this is one of the paragraph. I know this is also one of the paragraph I have. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so uh, so you tell, do you know when I take the mouse here? Um, even though I have not any JavaScript code, but you do, you do you know this mouse is coming on the top of you? If I click here, do you know I'm clicking? If you could do double click here, do you know I'm double clicking here? So JavaScript say yes. Uh, so a browser say I know everything. <clears throat> it's for events. <clears throat> okay. It means <clears throat> it means if you talk about this paragraph, <clears throat> this is pure HTML code. <clears throat> this could go to browser and say I want some space here and print the content inside this space. <clears throat> okay. And how much space browser <clears throat> has give to you is not visible. Actually, <clears throat> it's not visible. Okay. How much space they give behind the scene, <clears throat> but technically anybody who know about paragraph. <clears throat> okay. Whenever guys you use P keyword in HTML <clears throat> browser, technically you internally give, you know, this much space. From here till last. Okay, so that my space, guys, they give behind the scene. <clears throat> okay, so if you take the mouse here, you take the mouse here, or you take the mouse here, or you double click here, or single click here. <clears throat> for the browser, this the entire part is your paragraph. <clears throat> Which paragraph? This paragraph element. <clears throat> so how can I prove <clears throat> that my space given? To the paragraph, <clears throat> it's not visible. But Intel guys, a paragraph has a border. <clears throat> There's a transparent border. It's not visible, so I can't see uh, how much space they provided to you. <clears throat> but if I if I change my border color, you can see <clears throat> how much space they have provided. <clears throat> and how to see the better border color? So guys, if you want to do anything or, or <clears throat> anything in HTML, so technically this is the duty. Of HTML to print something for you. <clears throat> but after print, you want to change the border color, change the phone, <clears throat> change the look and feel, the so called style. Here, the role of CSS come in play. <clears throat> okay, this is called cascade style C. <clears throat> so, this training is not about CSS, guys, but if you write any CSS, <clears throat> you can type anywhere. There's a keyword called style. <clears throat> Start, style, close. So anything that you put inside a script <clears throat> for your page or browser, it is JavaScript. 
anything put inside the style keyword <coughs> that is just css <coughs> and for our css what can we do we can tell in this page wherever we have paragraph <coughs> element come up do some changes in look and feel of it <coughs> what change you do just change the border <coughs> something about the border <coughs> okay so i want my border will have some five pixels inside <coughs> i want my border has a solid line <coughs> and i want my border color to be blue <coughs> that's all okay so what you said here wherever your p as a paragraph <coughs> I have two by chance, one and two. Just go and find by yourself and change some look and feel of the P. <clears throat> what look and feel? Just do something on the border. What? These are the things to do. It. <clears throat> okay, this is syntax of the border. So, guys, this is border is known as a property. This is known as a value. <clears throat> and this property, guys, we are applying to P estimate element. <clears throat> so, this is pretty simple about uh, CS. <clears throat> and if I refresh this page, <clears throat> You can see guys this border come on. so my intention here just to show you not the css my intention here to show you <clears throat> that maybe we just create a paragraph it will look like paragraph is still here but technically no paragraph take the entire space <clears throat> so you take the mouse here we take the mouse here we take the mouse here <clears throat> okay it's the same thing <clears throat> that's what i want to show you here okay the next motto guys here is what i want <clears throat> so we know this is one of the paragraph this is the first paragraph I want, if I take my mouse on the first paragraph, <clears throat> so in the second paragraph, okay, does browser understand? Yes. Right now, guys, browser know I'm inside the paragraph only. <clears throat> I go out, I go in, I go down, <clears throat> I click, I double click, everything browser know. <clears throat> so what, what can I do for by this? I say, I know browser, you know, if I'm doing something on this paragraph, okay, for example, I'm taking the mouse <clears throat> over, Okay, this reason I take the ID here, the ID helped me to show you all the options we have. So I take the mouse <clears throat> over. Out, brother know this. <clears throat> if I take the on click, <clears throat> brother know this. So you type, if you don't type, <clears throat> nothing special here. Okay. So every HTML element, <clears throat> maybe paragraph or ton more HTML elements we have, or tags we have okay they what do we do on the top of this browser no <clears throat> because they have inbuilt pre setup events <clears throat> okay so if i take the mouse again refresh they know they know <clears throat> but they're not doing anything because we haven't instructed anything <clears throat> now what i'm instructing instructing right now uh, i'm saying when i take the mouse over i want you to call, do something <clears throat> i want to do something run some javascript code so right here also we can put a directly javascript code. <clears throat> so there's two way to run the javascript code mainly <clears throat> one put the javascript code inside the script <clears throat> second way to run is we can put the javascript code directly here for example one of the javascript code here is let us function <clears throat> so this is a statement we can close the statement with semicolon it's not compulsive but it's good practice to do <clears throat> So here guys, we you not know, LW, we can write further code also. I can write document write, I can write alert, <clears throat> I can put x equal to five. So all the JavaScript code that you normally write, you can also write inside <clears throat> here also. Okay, so P is a uh, element. <clears throat> and guys, in the normally estimate is called start tag and tag. So in the start tag, so you see here P here started, the first uh, first tag closed. Inside this, these are the <clears throat> events name or the keyword names we have. Inside this keyword, we can pass JavaScript <coughs> code or call the JavaScript function, whatever you say. <coughs> now, in this case, if I refer, refer my page, I refresh my page. <coughs> okay, good practice also guys, you see the source code, the code loaded, yes. <coughs> okay, so now if I take my mouse here, you see <coughs> some pop-up automatic come up. Okay, hi, <coughs> pop-up come up. Okay, <coughs> but I want, I want, uh, not here, <clears throat> I want if I click, then the function run, okay? The function that we have created. <clears throat> so again, let me refresh. 
I click, I go here, nothing happened. But I clicked in the paragraph. Now, understand one thing, guys. According to HTML, this is not the uh, paragraph. Till last, we have the paragraph. <clears throat> okay. So I click anywhere. If I join the maybe last inside this block, for example, I'm clicking here, nothing is happening. I'm clicking here, nothing is happening. If I click here, <clears throat> this function call and they run it for you. <clears throat> okay. So this is one small thing to know. <clears throat> okay. So technically, if you want to call <clears throat> run the JavaScript code, this is one of the way. Mostly we use this, or other way is to put in the script block. <clears throat> okay. So this is one uh, thing uh, to know. <clears throat> Okay, one more thing I want to tell you guys here is <clears throat> JavaScript come with lots of powerful function. <clears throat> very interesting, very important. Yeah, that is a, one of the reasons, guys. Um, mostly nowadays, uh, our application is in the <clears throat> browsers. Means nowadays we have Facebook, Gmail to send the mail. Everything is application, right? <clears throat> web, web app or web website, you can say. <clears throat> okay, and everything is. Uh, if you see the source code, Facebook. Or maybe Gmail, you can see lots of JavaScript code there. <clears throat> and JavaScript code is one who do lots of things for you. <clears throat> okay, uh, so there is a favorite language for hackers also. <clears throat> With the help of JavaScript, there are lots of hacks we can do. Again, this training is not about hack, <clears throat> okay, or crack. But I'll show you some of the <clears throat> idea <clears throat> to do some powerful things. Okay. Intention here is not to promote guys for toward hacking. Intention here is to, to give the awareness this can be done. So be aware <clears throat> by this JavaScript, tons more things can happen. <clears throat> so it's not a small thing, lots of things they can do for you. <clears throat> for example, okay, for example, JavaScript know guys <clears throat> right now where you are, which URL you are in. <clears throat> There's also JavaScript <clears throat> right point in time. Okay, how? So whatever the you are in, which URL you are in, you which address, what address, <clears throat> what is written in the address bar, it is also known by the JavaScript. <clears throat> How? Okay. So inside the JavaScript, <clears throat> okay, inside the JavaScript, <clears throat> let me write here. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm again writing one more script to make it this code a little bit clear. <clears throat> okay. So I'm writing one more time the script. <clears throat> so inside the JavaScript. Okay. We have function called, <coughs> sorry, document <coughs> dot location. <coughs> so this is a, a body document we haven't discussed yet. We'll discuss. <coughs> okay, what is location, guys? Is a pre uh, JavaScript internal keyword. Okay, or you can think of variable. <coughs> For example, here this variable we have created, where we define our value, but this is a the variable JavaScript create for us <clears throat> and what they do, they keep on changing the value of it. And right now, the value of this location for this page is this one. <clears throat> Here it is. Part. <clears throat> okay. How we can check. Let me store this in a variable called a <clears throat> and just try to <clears throat> print it. <clears throat> okay. Just try to print it with alert. And because I want my code to be controlled, I don't want as page load or maybe run. I have, let me put <clears throat> in the function, let's say let's call a function. I give some unique name, function start <clears throat> and function close. <clears throat> like I said, right now nothing is happening. Okay, because this is a function. How to call this function? <clears throat> let's call the function by on mouse over. <clears throat> okay, so there's a multiple way to call the function. But in this paragraph, if I take the mouse over, then they call this function. <clears throat> what this function will do? They will take the current location of my page and print it <clears throat> with alert. Okay. <clears throat> so let me run. Right, my current URL is this one. We know by chance. <clears throat> okay. But something, even though we know, but I want that thing to be automated. <clears throat> what I mean by this, we'll see in some example. So if I take my mouse over, you can see guys, they print exactly the same locus. <clears throat> just trying to tell you guys, I just want to tell you that JavaScript know lots of things about your browser, <clears throat> about your current page. That's one small thing I want to tell you. <clears throat> okay. One more interesting thing I want to tell you guys over here is, <clears throat> okay. If you want to run JavaScript code, <clears throat> okay. One way is to, to write inside your HTML page, Either maybe in the script, maybe on the event, 
this is one of the way other way also guys okay without writing the the code <clears throat> okay your browser has a given a capability <clears throat> to run the javascript code directly without writing an html page <clears throat> how right now in this page right most of you guys might don't know this very interesting lot of interesting stuff we can do with this console <clears throat> okay so what can i do in this url while having this in this page <clears throat> type this and select this and type java <clears throat> script then colon and then write <clears throat> your uh javascript code <clears throat> Let's say one of the JavaScript code is alert, and let's say in alert, I'm trying to fit my name. <clears throat> so JavaScript is a you can think as like a protocol name. Normally, we start we start with HTTP. So JavaScript call <clears throat> is a way to 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 tell my browser <clears throat> that I want to run <clears throat> this code, okay, or this current page. <clears throat> what a page is open. Right now I'm just printing. So you can see, guys, hello, we will print. <clears throat> But if I write something else, <clears throat> as a JavaScript, call LW function. <clears throat> okay, enter. I see LW function come up. And so one thing is the function we have created. <clears throat> Where for this page, <clears throat> for the page is come up. It means, <clears throat> it means, if you open Google, Gmail, <clears throat> and Facebook, <clears throat> so this Google. Or maybe Gmail or Facebook, these guys written lots of JavaScript code. <clears throat> so if you see here, <clears throat> if you see here, this is one of the functions they create <clears throat> in the JavaScript. So maybe the guys code they 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 squeeze the code, <clears throat> but it's a pure JavaScript code here. They have variable, they have function. Function name is W. <clears throat> okay. So by reading <clears throat> this function, whatever they used. Okay, so while uh, <clears throat> while your Gmail or Facebook is still open, without going to this code, without adding this code, I can call any of the things. <clears throat> Just one function I have to tell you that I type on Google dot com again. I type JavaScript. <clears throat> okay, and say uh, document dot location. <clears throat> What is this keyword that I show you already? <clears throat> this keyword. And I want also to print this value of it, so I can put inside the alert. <clears throat> so they give me value, but who will print this value? Alert. And guys, this is not a string, so I'm not putting inside the double quote, single quote. <clears throat> so what that show me? Which current you are in right now? I'm Gmail, Facebook. <clears throat> right here, they present me that I am right now in Google. <clears throat> okay. So might not be this keyword. Might not be so much useful for you. But like this, there's tons of interesting, powerful keyword that is so powerful. It might also help you to break the system. <clears throat> okay. For example, for example, I don't know anybody who has experience in uh, web applications development. <clears throat> okay. So they might know a power of a concept of cookie. <clears throat> so guys, this is not a pure. Uh, full stack development or <clears throat> or you know cookie implement and all the thing. <clears throat> okay, we are different training all together. But I don't just want to tell you one thing, just for knowledge. <clears throat> Whenever guys you log in in Gmail, Twitter, Facebook, X Y Z, <clears throat> from your browser, <clears throat> what you do normally? Okay, you first go, you ask the login and password. You give the login and password that is there in your mind. <clears throat> They log in. Okay, but due to a lot of reason, guys, what Gmail Facebook guys has done after you log in successful, they send you some token <clears throat> and ask this token to store in your browser. <clears throat> this token somehow equals to your password. <clears throat> means, means after login, if you click Facebook here and there, go Gmail here and there, refresh the page, it won't log out. <clears throat> it won't log out because of this token. But if they don't, if they don't provide this token to you <clears throat> in the browser, uh, as soon as you refresh the page or click anywhere, it will log out. <clears throat> this is the way it normally they work. But in the, in our case, they never log, uh, they never log out <clears throat> because of this token and this token guys is not good. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is cookie is so critical. 
and so important okay if i log in in my gmail here <clears throat> that i have already logged in <clears throat> and gmail here or facebook here anybody by chance come in my uh, browser <clears throat> a browser okay and in the browser this option here in the settings <clears throat> right and they go in setting and try to find the cookie for gmail and facebook and they copy the cookie <clears throat> so the normal text actually and same cookie they put in their browser <clears throat> in their browser okay just without knowing my login and password they can log into my g <clears throat> is a very powerful hack and it's so simple the way i'm explaining to you is so simple again this is not a security or hacking training but anybody who know about this they might know <clears throat> even though guys anybody from earth learner if you guys remember in my initial class earth this is one of the demo i have showed to you <clears throat> how to get the cookie and put that in a browser and log <clears throat> so again i'm not i'm trying to try to motivate you to do this hack was try to tell you to, to safeguard yourself anybody who stolen your cookie from the browser <clears throat> they can put in their browser without knowing their login and password they can log in to your gmail and facebook <clears throat> okay so how to find cookie there are lots of software available in the market but we can take the help of javascript <clears throat> how we can tell my javascript <clears throat> javascript okay that <clears throat> i am going to run a function in some function in this document <clears throat> just go and find the cookies <clears throat> So like this, we have a location as a keyword. That know your location. Who know the location? JavaScript. <clears throat> but right now, okay. Who know the cookies? JavaScript. <clears throat> so JavaScript say I have a capability to access your cookies also of a current page. <clears throat> right now you're in Google. So current page <clears throat> cookie. I can show you guys. Say a lot of content gonna come up. I'm not going to do up and down here. Because you will get my cookies, and if you get my cookies, <clears throat> you can log in my Gmail, Google without my password. So there's so much <clears throat> sensitive thing, right? Uh, <clears throat> so, so I'm just trying to tell you guys the 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 rule <clears throat> scope of JavaScript. They have the entire control on your page. They know everything, <clears throat> and it's to, it is not only that they know everything. <clears throat> they can also control. For example, <clears throat> my JavaScript know. My current location. So what can I do? <clears throat> what can I do? Okay, let me comment this line. So that this is a way <clears throat> you can comment uh, in a JavaScript or a single line comment. <clears throat> okay. So what can you do? You can say in this particular <clears throat> page, you know the location. <clears throat> I want to override the value of the location. <clears throat> My value would be HTTP colon slash slash Google dot com. That's all. So this location value guys, they auto pop up. Uh, but here I am asking, this is just available. I want to change the value. <clears throat> and guys, as soon as the value of this guy changed, <clears throat> what happened? The location changed. Location change. What happened? Let me show you. <clears throat> so I'm going guys calling this function by this way. So now what happened? <clears throat> if I refresh this page, right now I'm in this URL. Who knows this URL? My location keyword. As soon as I take my mouse over here, they call the function, and after they call the function, which one, <clears throat> this one, and the A, and they change the value of my location. <clears throat> so as soon as I, I go to this page, <clears throat> my location change. See, I automatically redirect it to Google. <clears throat> and if you notice, guys, one thing, <clears throat> they change the URL altogether. There's no back button here. Forward button here. <clears throat> Normally, what happens, guys, when you click on the link, then next page open, then we have back button. <clears throat> For example, you guys know in HTML, maybe in HTML, we have a tag called A. <clears throat> a tag, A close. <clears throat> a is anchor tag, means uh, link. <clears throat> By A tag, we can click a link. For example, click me. <clears throat> and in the A tag, we have a keyword called href, <clears throat> hyperreference. And let me also put the URL of Google. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> now what happened? Okay, let me go and run this page. <clears throat> the page name was first. <clears throat> okay. Again, just click me. I'm in this URL. 
and this click me is a HTML tag. If I click here, I go to Google. <clears throat> okay, but they also know my back <clears throat> because uh, A will give you a new page altogether. <clears throat> so A is a way to instruct your browser that take me to the new page. <clears throat> okay, add a new history. History means if I go back, there's a button called go, go back. Okay, so you can see click here to hold the CV history. So I go back, next page. Okay. <clears throat> Stack data structure. <clears throat> and maybe if you guys know DSS, something like this data structure. So stack data structure or stack memory. So A will do something for you. <clears throat> so this is the first URL. On the top of this, they add one more URL. So stack decade. Because they have a stack, I can go back also. <clears throat> okay, but if you go to location keyword, because this location, I'm I'm changing the URL. I'm still in the same page, <clears throat> the same code you can think. But I'm changing the URL because URL change, the content also changes. So if you see here, URL change content, but there's no stack they create. There's no <clears throat> history they create. I can go back. Okay, maybe sometime useful. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you the difference. Anybody who want to know. What is the same thing we can do with A also? This is some difference technical. <clears throat> okay. So main thing guys here is JavaScript know what is going on. Plus they also have a capability, <clears throat> capability to control the things, to change the thing. <clears throat> yeah, I can change my cookies. I can set my cookies. So a lot of things we can do based upon the the requirement. <clears throat> okay. So this is one thing. What is document? <clears throat> Still, I haven't discussed. We'll discuss in a minute. <clears throat> okay. But <clears throat> just focus on the further keywords like this. <clears throat> so, guys, I'll, I'll try to explain <clears throat> you multiple on my guys, please. <clears throat> multiple concept. If you try to understand, I have shown you everything from the space right every bit even though semicolons have to write every bit i explained to you till now <clears throat> but multiple fun, interesting concepts also i added here <clears throat> okay let me do some more thing here <clears throat> okay so if i start writing my code further and further your code <clears throat> become very big same page i'm putting html same page i'm putting css same page i'm putting <clears throat> javascript why because all these three guys become your final page <clears throat> Now you guys might understand if any kind of uh, <clears throat> content come up is because of HTML, any kind of look and feel come up like this kind of sweet buttons here is because of CSS. <clears throat> or maybe, the, you know, this box is bigger in size. It's like because maybe because of CSS. <clears throat> okay, but if anything, if I take the mouse here, type something or <clears throat> some, some kind of this office I have come up, this called JavaScript. <clears throat> Okay, simpler form, but we have lots more things we can do with the But these three guys put together, then only your first page or your web page create. <clears throat> and whatever guys page you see, it's normally known as front end. <clears throat> so this is when guys, this is the these three guys normally becoming together <clears throat> together to create a to create a front end. <clears throat> okay, but a lot of guys has built a lot of things on the top of this DHTML jquery bootstrap angular <clears throat> so they are just different different frameworks these three pieces connect together <clears throat> to create some simplest way to do the thing <clears throat> okay but the core is html css and javascript <clears throat> if you know these three guys in depth <clears throat> every bit of it might not you require any kind of <clears throat> framework Okay, you can do everything from this. Maybe it takes some time because you have to write everything from the scratch. That might be reason why we need framework. <clears throat> but that's the one thing uh, <clears throat> you should know. Okay, um, so let's focus again. This is not HTML CSS class. Let's focus only on JavaScript. <clears throat> so as we go ahead, my code become bigger and bigger. So what I'm going to do right now, <clears throat> I'm going to create a one more page here. <clears throat> let's say second page. Dot HTML. <clears throat> okay. Now in this page, I will only put my Java, uh, so HTML code. <clears throat> this is first para. <clears throat> only my 
uh, <coughs> my HTML code. <coughs> okay, like this. Let me run over here. <coughs> but obviously, guys, I need a lot of JavaScript to control. <coughs> okay, for example, uh, I'll click or uh, do on click something like this. So what can I do? Rather than I put my uh, JavaScript code here, <coughs> let me create a separate page for this. Let's say <coughs> my dot js. <coughs> so guys, here I'm just getting a new file. We have actions called js. Normally js depends. This is a pure JavaScript page. <coughs> now here I'm putting all of my JavaScript code. <coughs> for example, I'm going to create a function. There's a function which is called LW1. <coughs> okay, here I'm putting the alert. <coughs> So they alert something for us. Let's say hi, <coughs> LW1. <Okay. coughs> so in this page, I'm going to put all the JavaScript code. <coughs> but under one thing, guys, we never run normally a JavaScript code tag. <coughs> you know, this JavaScript code, if I click here, <coughs> nothing technical or fancy come up here. <coughs> because JavaScript is a code to control your web pages, <coughs> HTML code that I will explain to you. So JavaScript code normally go and lie uh, I come with HTML. <clears throat> okay. So, but we create a JavaScript code page separately. So I can put, I just, if I want to write something in JavaScript, I just keep on coming to this page and do changes. <clears throat> but this code is normally run with HTML. So this HTML and how HTML guys run the JavaScript code with a script keyword, <clears throat> script keyword start, script keyword close, <clears throat> script keyword. Okay, but here I don't want to put my entire JavaScript code. Maybe JavaScript code of hundred pages. I want to put a hundred pages code here. <clears throat> so what I can do? I can tell I'm calling my JavaScript code here, but my code is there in this page. <clears throat> so guys, for this we have a one keyword called source, <clears throat> and I can give my page name. <clears throat> okay, so this is exactly equals to if you copy the entire code over here. <clears throat> So this is just a way to manage the thing. That's all. Nothing very fancy. <clears throat> so wherever guys your JavaScript code is, <clears throat> right now my code is in the same folder. But maybe guys, sometimes your code is maybe in the GitHub, <clears throat> some maybe code in some of the internet. So wherever your JavaScript code is, you just give the URL. They will fetch <clears throat> the entire JavaScript code behind the scene. Try to give a uh, give a browser a view that this code is there inside this code only, <clears throat> inside this page only. In this code, whatever functions you have, code you have, you can use for them. <clears throat> okay, so let me refresh. <clears throat> Nothing come up, but if you see the source code, they are calling this code. <clears throat> okay, now what can you do? So let's say in my uh, <clears throat> code, I have function called LW1. So just do it for testing. <clears throat> I go to P and say, when I click on you, call LW1 function. <clears throat> That's all. But if you say in this page, I don't have this function. Okay, when you write anything in JavaScript code, they will go and look always for this page. This page, they find this function. Whatever the function is doing for you, they will do for you. <clears throat> okay. When you refresh and have a click, <clears throat> you can see this is working. So this is a way to just nothing technically. It's just a way to manage the thing. <clears throat> okay. And you know what I'm trying to tell you guys here is <clears throat> very interesting point to be noted. I'm just doing LL function. It do something for you. <clears throat> Let me get one more function here. <clears throat> L, <clears throat> L <clears throat> or log. This is a function name. And what this function is doing? They're changing my document location. <clears throat> Let's again <clears throat> HTTP console says www.google.com. <clears throat> okay. So every function is doing something for you. <clears throat> okay. Every function is doing something for you. This function is printing alert. Nothing technical, special here, but they're doing something for you. This function is doing something for you. <clears throat> okay. And now, wherever I want to use, there will be your choice. For example, I say I want to use LW log function. <clears throat> <Over here. clears throat> okay. So if I refresh, I click, it changes to Google. <clears throat> okay. It changes to Google. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so what I'm what I'm trying to guys. Uh, tell you here is okay. Uh, you have this web page, you see a lot of content here. <clears throat> On those content, whatever you want to do, 
what I want to do, that would be you. <clears throat> you are the one to decide. I want to do in this paragraph, in this paragraph, in this paragraph, or in this HTML tag, maybe an image or link <clears throat> or HTML form. Okay. But what you want to do, <clears throat> there's a function that you can put in separate files. <clears throat> and now what I'm trying to tell you here is interesting thing here is this is one function do something for you. This function do function for you. If you put lots of function in this file, then this file is normally known as library. <clears throat> but in this library, if you create a function in such a way that it will do something for you that you don't have to do again and again, some interesting thing for you. <clears throat> then now in the market, this library is, we give a fancy term called framework. <clears throat> again, I'm repeating guys, then this library, we give a fancy term <clears throat> known as, known as <clears throat> techniques for library, but we normally give the term called frame. <clears throat> work where some other team other company other developer <clears throat> created this kind of page for you a lot of functions they created the function do lots of interesting things for you maybe pages function maybe hundred of pages maybe <clears throat> okay they do lots of interesting stuff for you very commonly used thing <clears throat> okay just for example just for example <clears throat> okay maybe <clears throat> if i take my mouse here you can see this button highlight some shadow come up this can be do with CSS also, but let's say this is a <clears throat> our script is doing for okay. Why to <clears throat> why everyone have to do the same code again and again? Let's create one single piece, let's create this one function inside the function, write this function in it. <clears throat> I provide these functions to everyone in the world. They download <clears throat> how like this. I can hold for a second, please. <clears throat> one please hold for a second. Okay, so they say we put, put uh, <clears throat> this JavaScript library or this page <clears throat> or this program. What do you say? Same thing, technique, no, no difference here. <clears throat> okay, we give some URL, you go to this URL or type the URL, and when you write the code, okay, let's use <clears throat> my pre provided functions <clears throat> where I want to use in your code. If you use this function, you ought to get my functionality. You don't have to write the things, everything from the scratch. <clears throat> That's what that simplest meaning of framework <clears throat> in the market. Okay, so we have Angular JS framework, we have React <clears throat> uh, JS framework, a lot of other framework also we have. <clears throat> so these are the common ideas, same, but they had a lot of fantastic functionality to make <clears throat> our task easy. Uh, we don't want to things write everything from the scratch again and again. Use this framework <clears throat> directly, and what a function they use, or they have also got some extra syntax <clears throat> uses and and lots of things they will do for you. We have to just use it. <clears throat> so again, guys, this is not a framework class. I just want to tell you, code is JavaScript. <clears throat> so if you know these concepts, what I'm started already, every bit of it, syntax of it, <clears throat> you how to use the events, <clears throat> you can create your own JavaScript library. That's I created here. <clears throat> With some more functionality and it become your framework. <clears throat> Start sharing in GitHub or somewhere else to public <clears throat> and we don't know when it's become famous and when you become angular js or react <clears throat> right so we don't know <clears throat> so this is just a high level idea i want to give to you <clears throat> okay so guys here uh, till here we have discussed how to manage these things so now from onwards i put all of my javascript code here and the page or my front page <clears throat> or front end uh, and uh, <clears throat> would be i'm going to use this page <clears throat> Okay, so that's what guys uh, we are going to do. Uh, for. <clears throat> now, after this, guys, there's lots of uh, JavaScript concept we are going to discuss, uh, plus a lot of code we are going to write. <clears throat> but before this, guys, let's go for QA. 
after Q&A, we'll go for break. And after break, we'll continue with this topic. <clears throat> so any Q&A guys till now. So ask me guys, whatever we discussed till now. <clears throat> okay, maybe what are you asking guys? Maybe extra thing, maybe come <clears throat> in my next discussion. So I, I suggest, <clears throat> I, I suggest, uh, uh, ask me whatever I discuss till, till now. <clears throat> okay. So, So uh, guys, uh, most probably guys we're not providing any, <clears throat> any, <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> any recording class too. <clears throat> I didn't get our cookies. Uh, actually, uh, nothing. I just want to show you very quickly. Nothing special cookies discussion was there. If anybody who know about cookies, so they might understand, but it's just extra demo. <clears throat> I just try to show to you. Can I see the inner code of Yes, you can act definitely. It is available. It's, it's open source. Just go search in the Google. You get the code of inner code of Angular J. <clears throat> <Okay. clears throat> When you see it, it's CSS, uh, obviously, no, guys, this is JavaScript workshop. So I told you initially, there's no plan <clears throat> to talk uh, CSS. But whatever we require CSS, we'll keep on discussing. <clears throat> yeah, this code, uh, this diagram, what I'm creating right now, I'll share you guys everything in my Google Drive. So soon, guys, we'll share your Google Drive link. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so we'll get all this code there. Uh, uh, no, so no, we don't require any extension uh, in Visual Studio Code. So anybody who using Visual Studio Code, they have predefined support or pre-support uh, pre for JavaScript and HTML. So as such, in Visual Studio Code, we need we don't need any extension. <clears throat> Just start typing the code. So. <clears throat> Uh, I'm just trying to guys pick further questions. What is document? In my next discussion, guys, we will moving to a uh, document. What exactly the document is? <clears throat> what is TensorFlow JS? It is just uh, it is just it's a way uh, to uh, <clears throat> to have a you know API for your browser. <clears throat> okay, for your deep learning. So if you want to run TensorFlow, not for only for deep learning. If you want to run Tensor. By the JavaScript, right? Then TensorFlow JS library we have <clears throat> mostly using deep learning, obviously. <clears throat> Which is the best framework? Uh, everyone is good. Everybody has own benefit. Angular is good. React is good. Nowadays, React has become more popular. <clears throat> so you guys will know Mern, Stack, M E R N. Uh, so in R we have React. <clears throat> so React is is nowadays very become very popular, but otherwise uh, Angular is also good. <clears throat> okay, depend upon your you know which company which project they are going on, what they are using, what maybe the final purpose, what framework provide you, how they provide you. So lots lots more thing <clears throat> to to see and check. <clears throat> okay, but Angular and React both are good. <clears throat> Uh, 
yes uh, uncle we can see the ipad is also using the javascript <clears throat> So I'm just trying to pick <clears throat> where is here. One minute, please. When invoking the function, the function is not able. What happened? <clears throat> uh, nothing. Uh, as such, <clears throat> uh, I'll show you Karthik also how to debug this with a developer console. After the break, I'll show you. But <clears throat> but. As such, this block of part, what are, what you call that will break, <clears throat> but there's no SS error come in the browser. Okay, if function you call is not available, but how we can debug and all the things we will see after the break. <clears throat> so. Can we get software using JavaScript? Uh, I don't know which software you're talking about. Yeah, Sushil, yes, Sunil, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> you can create a web app with the JavaScript. Okay, so nowadays JavaScript has both the support backend and front end. Uh, typically, JavaScript core is for front end. <clears throat> I mean, the, the thing that we are doing right now, you know, just go see, do, interact, <clears throat> it's called front end. <clears throat> okay, so, but yeah, there's a capability to use the backend also and create an entire app. So maybe you can use the word software here, but it's technically you can create the entire app. <clears throat> what is the main purpose of use Java? So guys, uh, I'm, I, I'm getting a lot of queries to from here uh, and multiple topics i'm not interacting or not taking those queries right now <clears throat> okay uh, focusing only on the query that is respect to javascript and the topic that we discussed till that <clears throat> till now okay so please share the telegraphing guys uh, any queries related to management uh, contact to our management team <clears throat> Okay, or maybe you guys know the further numbers and the contact number, what's the number, I don't know. <clears throat> Just go and connect to further team. Approximately how many events are there in JavaScript? <clears throat> uh, actually, it's very from browser to browser. Because I believe now you understand event is not a part of SS JavaScript event is a part of your browser <clears throat> and every browser has a different capability and different events common event like on mouse over on click like there's a lot of events we have <clears throat> okay those lists you can guys find in Google <clears throat> but understand one thing those event is a is a property of your browser <clears throat> so Chrome has a different events Firefox has a different event <clears throat> Okay, so if you want to see how many events Firefox support, what this event will do for you, <clears throat> you can go and check the document from Mozilla or Chrome <clears throat> or Edge. So if you search for <clears throat> JavaScript <clears throat> events <clears throat> list, <clears throat> you can see, see guys, <clears throat> this one some common website come up like W2 schools, all the things. You also we can see some good documents, <clears throat> but normally. Normally, uh, link is not coming. For example, let me see JavaScript and <coughs> Mozilla. <coughs> Let's go Firefox. Here you can get the <coughs> detailed list. All the events, whatever the support. Common events is supported by in all the browser, but there are some specific event per browser basis. <coughs> so some browser has, has this event, some browser this event. So they're specialized on that particular part. <coughs> Okay, and that might be one of the reason, guys. Sometimes you see, you know, this website is supported only in Chrome because the developer of this website use some of the event <clears throat> that is more specific to Chrome. 
okay and some other reason also we have but this is one of the reasons so uh, if you want to see the entire list <clears throat> of the events i highly recommend just go and see a specific document of mozilla or chrome <clears throat> what events this occur <clears throat> okay but general events are common for all <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so Can JavaScript become future for IoT? Uh, there is no such link <clears throat> of IoT with JavaScript, but to control the IoT devices, you can create a front end for the IoT where you can use JavaScript. <clears throat> okay, in IoT device, we have a lot of API that you can directly call with the JavaScript. <clears throat> so you can think in this way, but there is no such I mean, meaning that JavaScript become the future of IoT. <clears throat> it's a different two things. How to host our website? Uh, so here, guys, I'm not going to discuss. There's not a sole link with this topic, <clears throat> but it's good to know. So I have some YouTube uh, IAC Rise classes <clears throat> where I explain you how to host the website, how to work in the CGI, how to work on <clears throat> backend. I highly recommend, guys, before my tomorrow class, if you have a basic idea of CGI or backend, it will help you a lot. Especially help you into knowing to knowing the edX. <clears throat> okay, so I'll share my video. I think one or two classes we have. <clears throat> I'll go. I'll share this video to everyone over here. Just go through those classes. <clears throat> okay, and um, uh, have the knowledge of backend plus the CGI. What is meaning? What is meaning of CGI? By having the video, you come to know. <clears throat> okay, so if you have this idea, tomorrow class when I start edX. <clears throat> And connect our front end to the back end, it it makes a lot of senses senses if you know what is going on <clears throat> in the back end. Okay, <clears throat> so so I'll share this video to you. You just go through this. <clears throat> uh, no, Sutudi, so we have two way now. Sometime <clears throat> technically both the way we have to use. So sometimes you have to write a script also in HTML, and sometimes to call <clears throat> via on event also. So it is not like this. Which one to use? Both the way we have to use. <clears throat> because for example, you have to write, have, for example, you have to write twenty lines of code. I can't write twenty lines of code. <clears throat> so those twenty lines of code I can put inside the script, give a function name, then I call this function name. This is normal way we do. <clears throat> But this script, rather than we put inside my main HTML, I can put my this code in the second file too, just to manage my code. <clears throat> okay, that's the thing normally we do. <clears throat> <Okay. clears throat> uh, this yes, uh, Sopnil, uh, I even though I highly recommend if you want to learn any framework. <clears throat> If you have a core knowledge JavaScript that we are providing right now or here, <clears throat> uh, right now or here, uh, is is very critical before you go for any framework. <clears throat> After having this knowledge, then you go for a learning start framework like Angular, like React. <clears throat> you see, you will get to know. You have a very clear understanding <clears throat> what is going on behind the scene. Otherwise, otherwise, guys, anybody who know framework. You just know how to use it. You just keep on using pre-created functions, methods there, <clears throat> classes there. But how how is it internally working? <clears throat> we don't know, but we keep on using it. <clears throat> so what I'm saying here, uh, after having this class as a JavaScript, then start learning framework. You can see you can get more out of those frameworks, <clears throat> and you logically understand what is going on behind this. <clears throat> Okay, but yeah, this class is not framework. I told you my initial. <clears throat> okay, we are not going to discuss any of the framework in this class. <clears throat> yes, uh, uh, Nisha, you can get cookies and location also from your incognito mode also. <clears throat> okay, but but 
you should be there in this website page. <clears throat> if you open the incognito mode, Gmail is not logging, you obviously you won't able to get the cookies. So if you are in the page, whatever is available on those particular page, maybe in uh, incognito, maybe private mode, public mode, <clears throat> whatever mode you have, JavaScript will get it for you. Obviously, the things JavaScript only get that is available, right? <clears throat> Now we are going deep into the JavaScript and to understand, uh, you know, some internals of JavaScript and uh, this is how actually normally we are, uh, we normally use JavaScript, right? So a lot of internal functions, methods, and other things we are going to discuss right now. <coughs> Till now guys, uh, <coughs> I just try to explain you some uh, basic syntax, how to use the function, how to include library, <clears throat> okay, into HTML file and some uh, more concepts I explained to you, right? So these are the base, we keep on using this concept multiple times. Now what I'm doing uh, uh, right now, <clears throat> explain you very important concept and very interesting and by this concept and on the top of this concept, multiple interesting things you can develop, <clears throat> okay? So, <clears throat> The first thing is, uh, now you understand uh, one thing uh, that uh, <clears throat> that this is your browser. In this browser, whatever you <clears throat> print or you show over here, you take the help of HTML. <clears throat> okay, but HTML you have to define uh, how you want to present the thing. <clears throat> okay, so you want to present the thing in the paragraph format. <clears throat> You want to bold the things, you want to underline the things. So there's a lot of HTML tags or elements available. <clears throat> okay. But one more element, guys, that is almost equals to paragraph. There's very slight difference. This called division. <clears throat> so now from onward, <clears throat> instead I use P, I will use div tag <clears throat> or div element. Almost like paragraph, very slight difference we have, but I don't want to discuss here. If you guys uh, no CSS HTML detail, you might see know the difference, but there's we're going to use div tag here. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here, okay, before I start the topic, uh, I'll again go to <clears throat> my folder and going to create a new page here. <clears throat> Can give any name, let's say this is my third page, <clears throat> okay, and here I'm going to give again an HTML extension, okay, guys. After <clears throat> if you guys getting a page with notepad, don't give extra space here. Otherwise notepad will add .txt as extension behind the scene. And if you double click on the page, it won't work. <clears throat> okay, so don't give any space here if you're creating the page with notepad. <clears throat> okay, so this page is in the created and I'm going to create uh, one text. Let's say this is first line this is second line this is third line so three uh lines i want to print so uh pretty simple they will print for you nothing special we have to do here <clears throat> three line print but i want three line to be separated <clears throat> they are to control separate look and feel <clears throat> or separate uh, separate events on all these three lines okay so that is one of the reason <clears throat> I will put these guys in the div tag or maybe in the p tag. <clears throat> so this is div one. This is my division tag or div tag. Next, I start div and I close the HTML with this slash. <clears throat> okay. So now <clears throat> three different lines come up. <clears throat> Every line is individual. Okay. Now this is not special here. It is just a HTML. Now interesting thing here to note, guys, from where I'm going to start the main topic right now is this one right if you talk about <clears throat> so if you talk about uh, uh, you know this particular browser here so right now i'm in the chrome browser and this browser this page we have loaded <clears throat> so if you ask your chrome browser that uh, that whenever you load this page <clears throat> create this white screen. Okay, typically guys, this white screen with respect to a browser is also known as document. <clears throat> so create this document for me. 
and inside this document place the thing wherever we we ask to place <clears throat> so now we ask to place this string or this statement in my first division if you see here this is my first division we have created <clears throat> okay <clears throat> place this in second division and place this thing in second paragraph or maybe in division <clears throat> right now interesting thing is your browser <clears throat> in my case is chrome because they are the one who create this entire document to uh, for you so they know wherever they place this first document second document sorry so third second division and the third division <clears throat> they know it right internally they know this is exact position guys you know i'm taking a mouse i'm literally talking about a position <clears throat> so this from this person to this person they say i have created a division <clears throat> second from this to this we create first okay so they know every division about it <clears throat> i can say inside this document <clears throat> they know we have created div1 second division <clears throat> and third div tag technically here guys known as element <clears throat> three element we have created with the name of div they know plus they also know exact position <clears throat> of it position means let's say uh, <clears throat> let's say this is x axis this is y axis right this is x and this is y in the corner you can say it is 0 by 0 coordinate <clears throat> okay so though they know <clears throat> at zero coordinates initially we have a division one after some position or coordinates we have two and three <clears throat> so they have an entire knowledge they maintain internally uh, about every element and their respective position <clears throat> who maintain your chrome brother right and guys if you want to maintain lots of information <clears throat> okay for example first division what a position second division what their position they have plus what content they have they also maintain <clears throat> So inside the second division, we have the content is this is second. <clears throat> so they also maintain this. <clears throat> okay. So I think guys, uh, I'm again audible. <clears throat> my team has been said that my screen was not in server mode. Uh, so I stopped and again, reshare it. <clears throat> I believe guys, now my screen is clear <clears throat> and visible. I got the reply from my team. Now it is visible to everyone. <clears throat> okay, so let me very quickly, I think my, my audio was audible that time. So you have listened to me already, but let me very quickly explain to you. This is very simple code of HTML I have created division tag you can think it's like a paragraph every html tag we give some unique ids <clears throat> you can give any id for what use of this id if you give <clears throat> everyone a unique name okay so your browser <clears throat> know internally that this particular person has a name d1 this has an id d2 this is id d3 <clears throat> and if you ask your browser okay can you please get the person of d2 can you give me reference of d2 <clears throat> do you know where this particular element located or this tag located so by this function we can get <clears throat> the position of it in a variable let's say x so what x will print for you so i always show to you let me show you one more time <clears throat> let's say i know this is the estimate division element technically i know the internal position of it i know this is located somewhere over here <clears throat> Not somewhere exactly this is located here. Plus, they also we have we also they also know a current position technically called coordinates, also we somehow use in the future. <clears throat> but they know they say I know about every person. I already know, but because you give give the name, so it is like a tag. So in your coding, you can also reference <clears throat> and say, I want to do something over here, I want to do something over here. I know the person, sorry, I know the name, this is called D2. <clears throat> Okay, according to you means your browser. Can you give me the <clears throat> position of it? Let's say <clears throat> I printed already the position. Now, what can you do <clears throat> with this? Okay, because now, because we know uh, this particular division <clears throat> or estimate tag, we have given a unique ID called D2. You can give any name. <clears throat> this ID we have given. 
with the help of this id we can get the reference <clears throat> but after getting a reference what can we do one of the things we can do <clears throat> from this id is we ask our browser do you know the current position of this element <clears throat> means i'm talking about the coordinates okay, this is very important things because if you know the position and coordinates tons of interesting animation we can design <clears throat> i'll show you some of the example or do you know in this particular id in this particular area what content they have <clears throat> okay guys and just one more thing in the uh, in the javascript right in any of the tag <clears throat> maybe p tag or division tag span tag lots of other tags also we have <clears throat> in html okay what a content you put <clears throat> okay this content is is stored in a special variable called inner html <clears throat> for example okay if you talk about this url this url is stored in a special variable called locus <clears throat> and because this url is a part of your document that is the reason guys we had uh, <clears throat> we have written you know <clears throat> document.locus so in this document okay this is a different document this is a different document so in this document <clears throat> what is the locus that's why i will explain to you <clears throat> okay similarly <clears throat> similarly in this document in this entire document right this has a different content this has a different content this is a content for third <clears throat> all the content stored in a special variable is called inner html <clears throat> and this variable guys is also sometimes known as property <clears throat> so this is one of the property location is one of the property <clears throat> we have so if you ask the javascript do you know <clears throat> in this area x in this particular reference <clears throat> what is the content we have so we have a property called inner html where i and r is small case html is in the capital p <clears throat> so where this is the data <clears throat> i just showing the data is a variable just a variable name <clears throat> okay so what this content what is x content this area <clears throat> what is inner html content the content of this area the content of this tag <clears throat> Now, now what can we do? Now, if I try to print this thing, <clears throat> data, <clears throat> let's say use the alert function. Let me <clears throat> comment this alert. So what, guys, now guys, now we have a capability, <clears throat> okay, from your browser, okay, we can pick any of the content, <clears throat> retrieve it and do something. So if I refer guys, you can see, this is the content they retrieve. <clears throat> they retrieve. So it's something like this. It means, <clears throat> it means if you want to retrieve this content, <clears throat> we can retrieve in the same way. Only thing is we have to just change the address <clears throat> because now we know the address of it or now we know the ID of it because this ID we have given. <clears throat> okay. So we can retrieve this content also. <clears throat> okay. And because this is just a, <clears throat> in estimate, just a property is like a variable. <clears throat> it's not only just like we can only <clears throat> We can only retrieve the content. I can also say in this position, <clears throat> go and what a content they have. <clears throat> so here, guys, what content they have thought. <clears throat> I want to replace this content. Let's say I want to replace with high <clears throat> That's all. And let me comment this line. Let me comment also this. <clears throat> so what happened, guys? Actual content I put third. <clears throat> I put third. Okay, at this particular person, but but when I refresh my page, <clears throat> when I refresh my page, <clears throat> you can see this will come up. So on the fly, my JavaScript is the one who go to this particular coordinates or this particular reference. I can say not the coordinate reference, and they say whatever the inner HTML they have, what a content they have. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I want to, <clears throat> I want to change this. <clears throat> okay, one more thing I want to tell you guys uh, from last uh, some time. I have a sore throat <clears throat> cough also. Uh, so you get keep on having this or <clears throat> something like this. So bear with me. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I know sometimes it's very annoying or disturbing. <clears throat> okay. Let's try to, uh, you know, <clears throat> bear with me. Even though for me, it's very harder to speak continuously by this in this situation, but I'm trying my best and fulfilling my duty. <clears throat> To train you guys in the JavaScript. <clears throat> That's what I'm doing here. 
<clears throat> afford for you from your side <clears throat> just try to bear with me <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> this is one thing now this idea guys we can use for interesting purpose <clears throat> let's say let's let's get one interesting example here <clears throat> okay i'm going to create a button <clears throat> where this is html tag this is i'm putting outside the script <clears throat> button start button close <clears throat> So this is one way to create a button in HTML. <clears throat> if refresh, guys, you can see it's a small button come up here. This button is not doing anything else here. <clears throat> but let me put something here. Let's say click me. <clears throat> this is a pure HTML. Okay. And you guys, if you take the mouse here, click here, nothing is happening. But your browser is smart. They know you take the mouse, you move the mouse out, you're clicking here, you're double clicking here, everything they know. <clears throat> Okay, so here, <clears throat> what can I do? I can create some events. And say, if somebody click on you, do something. <clears throat> or what to do something. So here, what are guys content I put? Let me put in everything inside of function. <clears throat> Let's say Linux function. Function start, and function close. <clears throat> and guys, you know, use the, use the function. So when I load this code, this function only <clears throat> created, nothing gonna run. <clears throat> It means <clears throat> you see this, okay? But right now, why third come up? <clears throat> because I put in my HTML code third. But my browser know this is the division, and they know this division has a unique ID called D three. <clears throat> okay. Now we'll tell those this button. <clears throat> button when I click on you, call this function. <clears throat> Which function? This function. Now, this function has a capability on the fly. Go to this current document, this entire document, <clears throat> look for, search for ID called D3, but whatever element we have, maybe division or paragraph or <clears throat> maybe form, they find D3 here. They take the reference in X variable of this <clears throat> particular tag and then say, wherever I reach, go inside this content. And replace the content with this. <clears throat> so what do you see, guys? On the fly, without reloading the page. <clears throat> okay, because because guys, you know the main thing is one of the powerful thing our Java JavaScript is. I don't want to reload the page. <clears throat> okay, so for example, if you go to Google, <clears throat> and if you type Linux here, and after hit you to enter or reload the page, <clears throat> that doesn't look a good application. <clears throat> I want I want my I want to interact with my with my page. <clears throat> but after interact, after you type type this, <clears throat> then enter, <clears throat> then then further data come up. I don't want this. I want as soon as I keep on typing on the fly, data is keep on coming. So technically, we are in, uh, we are interacting with this. For example, in the chat messages. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> it is not like this. <clears throat> if somebody is uh, chatting you or send some message to you, you have to refresh the page every time. To get the content, I want my page to be very interactive. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm talking about, if you want to change this content, there's two ways. <clears throat> the one way is go to HTML, change <clears throat> the content. It doesn't come up. Only way is to refresh. <clears throat> okay, but I don't. I can't do this because now in this world of social media and and lots of contents keep on moving here and there. Every time I want to see new content. <clears throat> From somewhere, maybe from my uh, my page, or maybe mostly because I have content come from a server. <clears throat> okay, I don't want every time I have to refresh. <clears throat> as soon as the content change, maybe here or maybe in my server, maybe one of the example I'll show you tomorrow how to connect with the server to get the content from there with the help of Ajax. There will be a tomorrow topic I'll discuss. But right now, I don't want my content change. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> and for this I have to refresh. <clears throat> I don't want this. I want some this kind of interaction without reloading page. If I click somewhere, if I move here, or maybe I don't move, right? Automatic my content change. <clears throat> for example, this is one simple example here. If I click here, you can see on the fly this content will change it's here, it's change without reloading the page. So I can say I am now as a user of this page, I have a capability to interact with this page. <clears throat> and who give guys this capability to you? JavaScript. <clears throat> but for this, obviously, you tell the JavaScript 
which content you want to change <clears throat> or you want to retrieve <clears throat> or you want to edit whatever the case would be. <clears throat> i'll say go to this area and i want to change the content of this area <clears throat> or maybe there might be case or maybe i want something like this what a content i have here i want to replace <clears throat> So all the content I have in my division one, I want to update to division three, <clears throat> or maybe I want to swap. I want to swap the content. <clears throat> okay. So how simple? <clears throat> I'll tell my document. Okay. Just go here, get element by ID. <clears throat> I know one more element ID called D one, <clears throat> and let me store this in variable called Y. <clears throat> okay. So this D one reference I pick in Y variable. <clears throat> Then I say, whatever content of <clears throat> y is stored in x. That's all. <clears throat> Pretty simple, right? So go to x. What the content they have? <clears throat> what the content they have? This one. Retrieve with, <clears throat> change with y. Guys, okay, here y only uh, know the reference, <clears throat> but you have to replace with y content. So inner HTML you have to write. So retrieve the y content. And replace with x content just normal assignment we are doing here <clears throat> okay so reload the page because content we have changed or code we have changed so one time you have to re uh, initially we have to reload the page open the site <clears throat> and now what is you guys this is the first line you can see it will be all right it will be it will be <clears throat> changed so you will click here the water content we have it come up <clears throat> even though guys if you just change your first line <clears throat> xyz you don't have you don't have to change anything in the code. <clears throat> Whatever the content we have here, it will <clears throat> overwrite or update it by this line. <clears throat> or maybe same idea you can use uh, to <clears throat> to swap the content. So again, <clears throat> okay. So guys, this is a powerful part of the one of the powerful part of JavaScript. They know <clears throat> which element has this id they know the reference and after this we can do lots of things here <clears throat> okay <clears throat> this is one thing okay <clears throat> now one more thing guys <clears throat> let me show you as a practical in <clears throat> html in html <clears throat> okay if you want to put any data <clears throat> okay what i mean by this let me Try to show you <clears throat> in HTML. <clears throat> if you want to show any data in your browser, one way is you can just type hard coded in HTML document. <clears throat> hard coded. Okay, what I mean by this? <clears throat> Something like this. I put here that I want some data here. <clears throat> okay, so I can say we can put in some of the <clears throat> tag. Or element of estimate but <clears throat> but there's one more way to put some data in HTML page how with the help of some boxes <clears throat> typically known as input boxes okay so what I'm what I'm talking about <clears throat> let me show you very quickly if you can get the idea so I'm going to create <clears throat> one input tag <clears throat> in HTML <clears throat> Okay, guys, this is pure HTML. So if I refresh this page, <clears throat> this box come up. <clears throat> now there's two way to present your data in your HTML, either in this way that is printed directly. You can say draw directly on your background. It's called white screen. <clears throat> and other way would be I can type here. <clears throat> Let's say everyone. This is also way to put the content. <clears throat> but here the difference is. This is a hard coded. We have to put directly on the HTML. This is the one we are typing. <clears throat> we are typing. Both this is also content, but this is also content. <clears throat> okay, so I am telling this point to you because in HTML, <clears throat> okay, every every element we can give some unique ID. For example, ID equals to let's say I N one. This is one ID we are giving. <clears throat> so technically, for the browser perspective. <clears throat> Okay, they know this ID is D1, this is D2, this is IN1. The browser know this. <clears throat> okay, or because browser know that ID, so what I can do, I can go to my code and say, in this document, <clears throat> I want to know 
द इंटरनल रेफरेंस ऑफ आई एंड वन वेरेबल और ऐसे स्टोर इन वेरेबल कॉल एस आई और आई एंड वन वेरेबल हियर दिस इज द वेरेबल दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड आई वांट टू नो दिस नेम ओके देन व्हाट आई वांट टू डू बिकॉज़ आई नो नाउ द पोजीशन ऑफ दिस दिस बॉक्स नाउ आई हैव अ कैपेबिलिटी टू रिट्रीव द वैल्यूज द वैल्यूज हाउ so for this understand one thing if any data or content in your browser is directly hard coded <clears throat> or there on the screen i can say simple term there on the screen if you want to retrieve <clears throat> this particular data from this element then we have a property called inner html <clears throat> that i always show to you <clears throat> any data that you have inside your input boxes <clears throat> okay any data you want to retrieve from here then we have a property called value <clears throat> okay so what i mean by this <clears throat> what i mean by this if from this box what are data i am typing here i want to retrieve it <clears throat> okay so i can say in i <clears throat> just go and retrieve the value <clears throat> that's all or let me just try to show you with alert function <clears throat> what the output come come <clears throat> okay so guys is same thing right i use the same function to retrieve the address <clears throat> now it doesn't matter you are a division or paragraph or input boxes <clears throat> the way to retrieve the inter address is same <clears throat> but if this is a normal element address where you print it everything directly on your screen to retrieve this value we have inner html <clears throat> but this address is input box to retrieve their value we have a value queue <clears throat> Okay, so what I want to try to show you. Let me show you here. <clears throat> okay, for example, if I type my name Vimal, <clears throat> and if I click here, you can see, guys, they have capability to retrieve my name and show me alert. <clears throat> so now there's two property main from where you want to retrieve your value directly from the screen <clears throat> or from some kind of input box. <clears throat> It's come from input boxes. Use the value property. <clears throat> Come from directly from the screen or some of the element like this division or P use this property. <clears throat> Otherwise, concept is same but different different properties uh, we have. <clears throat> Now, after we know this, what can we do? Let's say we have a plan something like this. <clears throat> okay, whatever name I'm typing after I click this line will override. <clears throat> so what I'm typing here, <clears throat> this will override. <clears throat> That's what I wanted here. <clears throat> okay, so how we can do? so we also know the address of this we also know the address of this <clears throat> so address of this is i <clears throat> address of that is x <clears throat> so what i can say x whatever content you have right now in your html <clears throat> i want to retrieve or change this content with i value <clears throat> i means address of my input box <clears throat> okay with their value <clears throat> same concept what i use here let me comment this line i don't want this line right now or let me also comment the alert <clears throat> so maybe i don't not need this also let me comment this line <clears throat> so let's focus more on main code so <clears throat> a code that i uh, am want to run right now is this <clears throat> with this one okay so i retrieve this area i retrieve this address i retrieve this reference <clears throat> the difference is because <clears throat> this is input box so i retrieve the value this is a normal division or maybe paragraph so i override in the inner stream <clears throat> okay now what you see guys here if i click something here hi <clears throat> linux word whatever type after click it will be updated <clears throat> i write something else it's <clears throat> updated <clears throat> okay so this can be uh, done <clears throat> okay Okay, but under so one thing here, I'm not talking more about look and feel of this page. If you want to make this page great in look and feel, then the role of CSS come in play. <clears throat> okay, right now we are not talking about uh, look and feel here, so don't guys don't bother much about why they have a don't proper look and feel because we haven't set any CSS. <clears throat> I'm talking more about how you can interact with this page. 
without reloading <clears throat> guys here i'm tapping here the space is not reloaded <clears throat> the reloading i'm changing or updating the content <clears throat> okay reloading loading is not good guys if you see example i told you if you have to reload facebook every time for changing anything it doesn't looks good <clears throat> okay so just keep this thing in mind without reload the page <clears throat> after the page code has been completely done <clears throat> okay how can you interact with this space is called user interactive <clears throat> or live user interactive that's makes more sense <clears throat> so javascript have a capability by help of this kind of concepts we can do it <clears throat> okay <clears throat> now let's do guys one more interesting uh, example you will definitely like it but by this you can get also some more new thing <clears throat> so what i want uh, to do here let's say this is my input box if i say uh, pop here after i type pop then i click here then is content change then i type pop linux world then I click the content that they're changing without reloading this that's nice but what i want here i want live you know typer or typewriter kind of thing <clears throat> so what i want as soon as I keep on typing <clears throat> on the real time the, this line update it's like the, it's, it is something like this there's somebody typing on the screen <clears throat> so i want to create a program something like this that it look like that somebody typing directly on the screen and so one thing guys nobody can directly type on the screen <clears throat> right there's a by default nature of the browser but i have to create a, a app or a small program in such a way <clears throat> that it, it look like somebody typing directly on the screen <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> something like this we are going to create. <clears throat> now, how we can do this? So, based upon this example, <clears throat> let me try to show it to you. Or let me create very quickly a new page. <clears throat> uh, page maybe <clears throat> type dot estimate. Okay, and uh, what I'm doing again? I use a script. <clears throat> so I can put my JavaScript here. <clears throat> okay, then I put some estimate uh, <clears throat> tag. And here I'm creating guys input box. <clears throat> you can also write slash if you want, nothing special here. ID, let's say IN1. <clears throat> now guys, you understand, it's a good practice. Always give our unique IDs to every element. <clears throat> so we can take the help of JavaScript to go to that address to do something. <clears throat> okay, and I'm also getting, taking, getting one more element here, it's called div. <clears throat> okay, and here I'm giving some unique ID to this division, let's say div. <clears throat> okay. Two things. So if I uh, <clears throat> open this page, nothing special come up. Only this page box come up, and division is not visible because we haven't put any content. But very for just to check very quickly, <clears throat> my content, some content I'm writing here, it's gonna come up. <clears throat> so now what? What I wanted here, I want as I start typing H I H L O. <clears throat> On the fly, this content will change. And as soon as I keep on typing, <clears throat> the contents keep on changing. <clears throat> okay, that's what I want. <clears throat> okay, so for this, one of the approach would be <clears throat> that would be the, that won't be the right approach. <clears throat> I say my info box, if somebody click on you, <clears throat> okay, run some function, for example, L function. <clears throat> this function I haven't created yet. <clears throat> Okay, so let me create a function here <clears throat> for LW. You can give any name. <clears throat> First of all, guys, because I want to do something on this, I want to do something on this. So I say, go to this document, <clears throat> get the element <clears throat> with ID because this is the code we have created. So we know the ID IN1. <clears throat> and in this document, <clears throat> also go and get the element <clears throat> by the name code D1 because we have created. <clears throat> let me show in the variable, let's say in. <clears throat> I variable, let's say in <clears throat> J variable. And normally in JavaScript, when you create a variable, you can also use a keyword called where, <clears throat> you know, compulsory, but this also you can use to tell this is a variable. <clears throat> you can use. Okay. Now what I want, <clears throat> I want when this function run, <clears throat> okay. When they run, when somebody click on you, <clears throat> what they do, what the content of <clears throat> I, it will be replaced with the content of <clears throat> why use value here because you know guys this is input box why you, uh, use uh, inner estimate because it's a part of your normal script 
<coughs> now what happened <coughs> if i type here vimal <coughs> if you see notice also one thing this is content but as soon as i click here <coughs> okay this content uh, will be will gone <coughs> gone click is gone why because in this input box i don't have any content <coughs> i don't have any content so how they replace with with nothing <coughs> Okay, so they replace with nothing. <clears throat> if I start typing, <clears throat> hi Vimal, <clears throat> nothing is coming. If I click my mouse somewhere out, nothing come up. <clears throat> but if I hit enter again, <clears throat> because here I put on click event, so I see here what I click automatically come. <clears throat> so this is one other thing you can do. <clears throat> but this is not what I want. <clears throat> I want something else. <clears throat> I want as I start typing. on the fly they keep on that <clears throat> so how can do this okay so simple idea right right now i told you guys already uh, today whatever you are doing in your browser they know everything <clears throat> so right now i'm typing h i so they know you know guys when i type v so i am pressing my key <clears throat> down okay and as soon as i press my key down <clears throat> my browser know somebody is pressing your key And which key? <clears throat> I can say mainly the key. I type I M A L. They know five time I press my key down. <clears throat> so again, we have an event for this. Okay, so instead of on click, <clears throat> there's an event called on key <clears throat> down. <clears throat> okay, so it means every time you do key down <clears throat> in this box, <clears throat> run this function. Every time the function run, they pick the value and update it. <clears throat> Which value? Same field value. <clears throat> okay. So what I mean by this? So when I hit enter, <clears throat> nothing happened because nothing we put on click. <clears throat> But as I press my key down, <clears throat> H, <clears throat> I, <clears throat> okay, V, <clears throat> I, M, A, L, <clears throat> space. And so, understand one thing, guys. This is a little bit one <clears throat> step ahead. If I put H, <clears throat> nothing come up because it's key down. <clears throat> okay. So when the next key key down, then it start moving. So instead of this, guys, here maybe the <clears throat> better, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, event would be on key press. <clears throat> So this small change here, you might see here. If I say H, <clears throat> I again the little bit, <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, uh, not going together. So maybe I think better would be on key <clears throat> because when you key, when you key press, <clears throat> it again key key up come up. You know, press and uh, down and up right. So what I wanted here, <clears throat> so H I V I M L. <clears throat> my name we will daga so it's a live on live <clears throat> typing is going <clears throat> so directly on the browser guys i am typing my thing <clears throat> in this browser <clears throat> okay so what what is the benefit this lots of thing guys you can do by this simple code <clears throat> okay one of the things you can do here is <clears throat> one of the thing you can do here just is, is one idea come in my mind <clears throat> okay what i say What I type here, <clears throat> it becomes a link. If I click here, it goes to Google. <clears throat> I want this one. <clears throat> on the fly, guys, I type my link. My link created. And when I click on the link, it go take me to that particular URL. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I want this. But before this, I I want to show you one more thing, guys. This is same event Google also using behind this. <clears throat> so this also input box as as typing. <clears throat> Okay, so they are showing you the output. This is a different point altogether coming from search server of the Google. <clears throat> But as I keep on typing, <clears throat> my browser is keep on taking this <clears throat> word on the fly. How? By using the keyword called even called on key press. <clears throat> And taking the server, how they put, take the server? There's a different point we'll discuss tomorrow. <clears throat> And the output comes from the server. <clears throat> so here, guys, they also use on key <clears throat> press. Kind of also on key up kind of here. <clears throat> okay, so this one thing. 
But let me create this example. This this by chance just come in my mind. <clears throat> okay, how we how we can do this? <clears throat> so this is division, guys. Right now, division know what content they have. <clears throat> okay, so what can we do? We can create one more function here. <clears throat> Let's say LWA, <clears throat> just a name. I'll tell my function <clears throat> that I have one <clears throat> one address. Go to this address. <clears throat> What of content they have? Retrieve it, and just try to show me what they have for a while <clears throat> to check and confirm everything is going good or not. <clears throat> so let me use alert to check everything. <clears throat> so I want when this function run, what of content this user have this point in time? <clears throat> right now they have this one. Retrieve it and alert. <clears throat> or when this function run, let's say we'll let me put <clears throat> one click here. On click. <clears throat> so when somebody click on this, <clears throat> then there are this particular function. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> so this is the current content. If I click here, they print my content because this is current content we have. <clears throat> But if I say Vimal <clears throat> Daga, now if you click here, this is a new content coming. <clears throat> on the fly, we are changing the content. But on the fly, we are also taking the help of click <clears throat> and do something. And so one thing, guys. Right now, division is now working something like a link, <clears throat> you know, a link kind of thing. So if some if I click on division, they do something for. <clears throat> right now, they are printing um, alert, but instead of print, printing alert, <clears throat> what I want, what I want, whatever content of <clears throat> inner HTML we have, I want to update this word content <clears throat> with my document location. <clears throat> That's all. And as you know, what the use of document location, <clears throat> it will change your URL. But this URL now, this time, come from <clears throat> this division, and this division content come from my input box. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if I refresh, <clears throat> if I type www dot google dot com, <clears throat> okay. So on the fly, guys, this become link, and if I click here, <clears throat> they take me to google dot com. <clears throat> okay. So right now they they add in my final folder. So to tell this guy, this is not a folder of name file name. So I can use HTTP console. <clears throat> click here. <clears throat> now it become proper URL. <clears throat> okay, but if you don't want to type HTTP always, you just want to type only <clears throat> the domain name. So what can you do? <clears throat> what can you do? Uh, this is oh guys one of the string. <clears throat> okay. So if you want to add Something in the string you can add <clears throat> in the front, and you want to add two string together, you can use plus, <clears throat> like or concurrent operator. <clears throat> so this content add with this content, it become your final URL. <clears throat> so this string plus string, this is the way we normally concurrent concurrent in the JavaScript. <clears throat> <clears throat> so what happened? So we have Google.com. <clears throat> It look like Google Chrome, but we enter it. Added HTTP colon slash slash. I hit enter. <coughs> the site will come. <clears throat> so it's just an idea. Uh, maybe maybe this might be useful in somewhere. Might not be useful somewhere, but just I'm just trying to show you the approach. Uh, we can mix match the thing, swap the thing, assign this variable here and there, use multiple events <clears throat> to create something. <clears throat> and now where you want to use this, that would be your choice. <clears throat> Maybe this might be uh, might be a case. You type some name <clears throat> of your image, <clears throat> and as the image name you type, it automatically <clears throat> <clears throat> automatically guys, <clears throat> you 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 go to server, you search for this image, and what the image you type, it will become it. <clears throat> okay, so it would be anything, <clears throat> any kind of uh, idea come up, or it might be. <clears throat> Might be whatever type here. <clears throat> if you hit enter, <clears throat> if you hit enter, <clears throat> uh, your your speaker will speak. <clears throat> It would be anything. Okay, so guys, in the JavaScript, there's a lot of library available in the market <clears throat> who have a capability to speak. <clears throat> okay, tons of library available <clears throat> by multiple different developers. <clears throat> okay. So by using this library, we have a capability. <clears throat> okay.
okay uh, <clears throat> we have capability whatever we type they they will speak for you <clears throat> okay so if you search <clears throat> in the google how we can uh, speak <clears throat> by by javascript okay you can find a lot one of the library name is <clears throat> javascript <clears throat> speak <clears throat> one of the library name is <clears throat> responsive <clears throat> i think responsive voice <clears throat> something like this <clears throat> voice <clears throat> So this is one of the library, <clears throat> okay, created by somebody. <clears throat> so this library has a capability <clears throat> to speak something. <clears throat> okay, so what I can do, I can provide <clears throat> my text here, and whatever text I provide, they will speak for you. <clears throat> and they give multiple examples. <clears throat> so here, guys, what I do, I can just <clears throat> directly copy this example. And I type here. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> so let me create one more function here very quickly. Let's say LWS speak. <clears throat> I'm putting this one. <clears throat> so what they do? They will speak hello world in a <clears throat> US English meal <clears throat> world. Okay, so this function has the capability to speak. <clears throat> and let me call this function guys uh, by <clears throat> from here. Okay, so what happened? <clears throat> if I click this, they will speak. <clears throat> if I click here, they will speak hello world. <clears throat> so right now, right now, guys, nothing is being speak <clears throat> by this function. Why? Because this function is created by somebody. <clears throat> okay, the way I created here this file. <clears throat> But if you want to use this file, you have to you you have to import this file. <clears throat> and how we import it, guys? If you remember, <clears throat> this is way guys import. <clears throat> Same thing as here. This function is created by somebody. Uh, wherever they created this file, we have to import in this code. <clears throat> okay. So if you go go to this side, <clears throat> they have also given <clears throat> the URL. So they say this is the way you can import. <clears throat> you can <import. clears throat> okay for this guys users require some unique key for the you to sign up <clears throat> mostly guys this kind of site normally they have free sign up after sign up you can find some unique key here <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so this key we get, guys help you to give <clears throat> this particular support <clears throat> but how to import this <clears throat> Like this. You okay, see so here, this is the same kind of JavaScript somebody's created, but there they created more about how to your speaker speak. <clears throat> okay, but here, guys, you do <clears throat> type uh, your key and how to uh, put your key. You have to just <clears throat> just go and log in there. After login, you find some key, put the key, then this code will work for you. <clears throat> but let me try without this key. Does it work? <clears throat> because sometimes, guys, somebody has given you free. <clears throat> support without the key is called anonymous <clears throat> okay so i'm loading this javascript <clears throat> not from local stem directly from the internet <clears throat> okay let me check this url working or not first of all <clears throat> <clears throat> yes <clears throat> so that's easy you are working a lot of functions being created by somebody <clears throat> okay but let me check that this is url working without <clears throat> the key okay so <clears throat> if i refresh my page <clears throat> okay <clears throat> and i click here <clears throat> <clears throat> voice is not coming <clears throat> so i don't think so guys right now <clears throat> now one minute let me check the code also <clears throat> my code is on click we're calling this we're calling hello world uh, code is uh, uh, is is right <clears throat> okay but this is not working guys because what you have to do <clears throat> as extra <clears throat> as extra just go to the site <clears throat> and create a key <clears throat> or maybe guys you will find some more example maybe <clears throat> in the google i find some url you don't have to remember the url i find some url 
<coughs> where <coughs> one minute very quickly if i can found or <coughs> let me search in this way <coughs> javascript <coughs> text to speech <coughs> this is the <coughs> one of the other guys here this is your guys show you some more way <coughs> to speak so you have your audio you have to use this function <coughs> okay and this some more function we have <coughs> okay to speak <coughs> and uh, <coughs> This also function, guys. I think I was talking about this kind of function. <clears throat> so let me use this function again. <clears throat> Let's see, does it working or not? <clears throat> okay. So let me copy the code here. <clears throat> Same code, nothing is special. We just created a button <clears throat> input on click. Somebody click, we call this function. Either a function we can actually call here. <clears throat> okay, and this function is available in this <clears throat> JavaScript code. <clears throat> okay. So I refresh this page <clears throat> when I play. <clears throat> okay, if this site doesn't require <clears throat> any key, it will work because they keep on changing. <clears throat> Most people guys, this might require a key. <clears throat> okay, let me check. The times do you want to speak? Yeah, guys, it is working because I get connected to <clears throat> my mic. <clears throat> Because I can't do my my mic, so that was I was not able to uh, listen this. I don't know, guys, have you able to listen or not? <clears throat> but <clears throat> well, one more quick, guys, one minute. Let me reset my screen. <clears throat> well, while listening, we have option to share the sound. <clears throat> now, now, most probably, guys, when I click, you will. <clears throat> this is the text you want to speak. <clears throat> but I can listen it. What this speaking? I don't know. It's been sharing to you you or the Zoom meeting or not. <clears throat> okay, so my point, guys, here is okay, like this, there's lots of <clears throat> libraries available that I already explained to you. They created something for you, we can actually go and use it. <clears throat> okay, use it, and somebody will help you speak, <clears throat> somebody will do something more for you. <clears throat> okay, that's what I want to tell you. <clears throat> so, you have to use this one, or you have a lots more <clears throat> kind of functions available. <clears throat> okay, what depend what guys will go in your flow <clears throat> in your use case accordingly you can use it. <clears throat> okay so this one now you want to put the function here or you want to <clears throat> you want to do something like this whatever you're typing here <clears throat> okay that will speak you can also do <clears throat> so what i type here then i hit enter then they speak then i pass this content <clears throat> over here now how to pass now you guys know <clears throat> You can use the help of values or inner HTML and accordingly you can pass. <clears throat> so for that code you can build, just, just replace this value <clears throat> with this <clears throat> one <minute. clears throat> with this inner HTML <clears throat> or make values. Okay. So I just give you the approach. Now what you want to do by this, you can done tons of things over here. <clears throat> okay. So guys, this is one of the content where we go to document. Okay, and in the document, everything, whatever HTML or browser has print, everything is a unique reference, unique element, like say division tag, input tag. So everything is unique object technically. And so how HTML has organized, they say I create one single big document, <clears throat> one single document inside this, we have a first division <clears throat> object, second division object inside division. We have inner HTML or maybe we have more division, <clears throat> division inside division. So guys, this is called model document object model <clears throat> doc. So, <clears throat> so what guys <clears throat> your browser do, whatever thing you you print they create uh, they create a dom <clears throat> object for you it is like a tree kind of a structure <clears throat> where the root is <clears throat> your document keyword then division is one child this division next child the inside we have more division <clears throat> more info box than the further childs so it's like a tree kind of a structure they create <clears throat> So they know inside this division, we have a division. So inside the doc, we have division. Inside this division, we have something else. <clears throat> so
so you don't have to guys do this they create this tree kind of structure for you <clears throat> okay with the help of this tree structure we can tell uh, i say i'll tell my my code or javascript <clears throat> do one thing go in this document <clears throat> find this <clears throat> uh, reference or division inside this division we have one more division right inside the we have one more region go there <clears throat> and what a content we have replaced <clears throat> something like this so lots of things we can do i'll see show you some of the example like this <clears throat> in some minute okay but technically what do you guys see <clears throat> in your page maybe here maybe here <clears throat> maybe google your browser will create a dom for you <clears throat> and they say i know every bit <clears throat> of it <clears throat> i know which element is placed where <clears throat> okay let's can you hold for a second please <clears throat> this is the uh, just a name uh, <clears throat> otherwise if you don't understand this doesn't <clears throat> make so much sense okay you should know this uh, this concept only <clears throat> okay if you know the id if you know the location you can do anything <clears throat> but this not this not only way to <clears throat> to retrieve the content what i mean by this okay so let me again <clears throat> go back to this page <clears throat> here we have three divisions <clears throat> okay i'm talking about this particular page <clears throat> so we have three division <clears throat> by chance we have given every division a name <clears throat> a unique name but guys it is not always uh, that every division we can give the name <clears throat> maybe in the code you might write division hundreds of times paragraph hundreds of times <clears throat> not always guys it's good practice to give always a unique name <clears throat> but sometimes guys it won't possible <clears throat> to give all the divisions a name <clears throat> okay now what my requirement is i don't have any name here <clears throat> to none of my html element <clears throat> now i want to do the same thing <clears throat> so let me guys <clears throat> first comment this line let me do a multi line comment this way to do multi line comment in javascript <clears throat> okay so now what i want i want to <clears throat> retrieve this content or me retrieve this content or change this content <clears throat> okay how we can do So for this guy, we have one more approach. <clears throat> I can sell my document and say I don't have get element ID, but I know by chance my tag name, <clears throat> and my tag name is <clears throat> tag is uh, you can see also the element name. <clears throat> so I know my elements tag name. <clears throat> Let's go division or my p or my input. <clears throat> okay, now what you do? just go to this document <clears throat> and just find out wherever we have a division <clears throat> okay we have division here we have here we have here just go and retrieve all their addresses <clears throat> so now if you talk about x what x will contain <clears throat> x will contain the address of or reference of all the division <clears throat> or because they have address of more than one so it become a list <clears throat> or the array So now, if I try to <clears throat> try to show this code, <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> and run this particular function, <clears throat> run the function by clicking here, <clears throat> okay. What do you see? <clears throat> It is a HTML collection. <clears throat> collection means a list <clears throat> or maybe array. So they know address of all the division. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay it means <clears throat> it means if i ask <clears throat> x who are you <clears throat> so i am a list <clears throat> and guys if you have a list there is a keyword called length <clears throat> <clears throat> so length is a keyword so guys if you want to find the length of somebody <clears throat> length of a string or length of a number of elements we have in the list <clears throat> this will this we can run so now what will it will do for you If I click this, they tell you <clears throat> three. Means technically, in your document, they count total number three division tags we have. 
and guys <clears throat> this concept is very much useful <clears throat> if you <clears throat> you know uh, <clears throat> uh, scrapping some website <clears throat> and then you need there's a lot of images and you count how many total images we have <clears throat> by code so you can write this kind of very simple <clears throat> two lines of javascript code and say just go and look for our img tag here because img is the one who will present the image for you <clears throat> and show me the length means total number of tags we have <clears throat> okay because the list and here we are counting the elements of the list <clears throat> so they count it for you <clears throat> okay or maybe your requirement is not to count <clears throat> you don't do something else you say <clears throat> whatever we have in x <clears throat> it's a multiple items go to first item <clears throat> okay so in the list you know what you do zero means the first item <clears throat> In this first item, what are the content they have <clears throat> in their HTML? Give me. <clears throat> so let me show you guys with the alert. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> what happened, guys? When I refresh this code, they know which is the first division we have. By chance, this is the first. <clears throat> they go to this, get the address, take the inner HTML, and retrieve for you. <clears throat> this also, guys, one of the approach. <clears throat> uh, Sometimes we can use. <clears throat> Okay, let's can hold for a second again. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> this is one of the approach guys <clears throat> we can use. <clears throat> okay, so uh, again, senior, senior guys, sometimes this is very much useful. <clears throat> some, some senior get element by ID is very much useful. <clears throat> okay, but good practices, whenever you create HTML code, always try to give <clears throat> every element a unique ID. <clears throat> because we don't know guys, when you have to work on this particular ID. <clears throat> Otherwise, you know what, you want to do something here, you count, we have division one, division two, division three, <clears throat> then just go here and say, division number three means person number three, means two, <clears throat> zero, one, two, just go here and <clears throat> do something. Sometimes <clears throat> this method might not be so much useful, but some scenario is useful. For example, I want to count <clears throat> the number of images we have. <clears throat> okay. Or maybe <clears throat> if you go to Google, <clears throat> go Google, <clears throat> somebody added this code. If you open this code, <clears throat> okay, there's a code we have. And in this code, you want to count something. You want to do something. <clears throat> Even though I don't have, I don't have so much HTML here, <clears throat> but let's say you want to count how many times Google has used division. <clears throat> so I can copy paste this code here <clears throat> and to count it. Or <clears throat> you guys know this one more concept <clears throat> that if you want to find the length, <clears throat> one more way we have, we can also type <clears throat> length directly here. <clears throat> Okay, instead of create the X <clears throat> and we can directly run the alert here. <clears throat> Same thing, right? But either way, we can write three lines of code in one single line, <clears throat> everything's done. Let me comment this line. <clears throat> okay, and here this division, <clears throat> post number, <clears throat> total length, for example. So when I run this code, <clears throat> three comma. <clears throat> And now, because we can write the entire code in one single line, <clears throat> now what can we do? We can copy this code. And I told you guys one interesting approach already to you <clears throat> is what? <clears throat> in the Google. <clears throat> okay, if you type any code directly here, you guys know the approach. <clears throat> we can write the JavaScript colon your code. Name. <clears throat> Enter. <clears throat> you guys, here is so quick, right? Without going and downloading Google code, without inserting the code, <clears throat> right? Very quickly, we can count calculated in this Google website. We have used division tag 130 times. <clears throat> well, let me check one more thing <clears throat> in the JavaScript. I'm asking in this website, <clears throat> okay, how many times you use IMG tag? So guys, IMG is a tag in HTML. It will help us to present the images. <clears throat> 12 times guys. So in this website, in this space, uh, Google has used <clears throat> in this space, has used IMG tag <clears throat> 12 times. 
maybe this might be one image, this my one image, this my one image, like this <clears throat> 12, 12 times they used somehow. Maybe this is one of the images, this logo may be one of the images. <clears throat> okay, 12 times. <clears throat> okay, so so if you know the JavaScript, <clears throat> you know, in this way also, uh, <clears throat> okay, tons of more interesting, <clears throat> you know, things you can do. <clears throat> okay, so this again is one of the <clears throat> uh, thing I want to <clears throat> tell you. Okay, so like this, guys, there's some more uh, interesting thing. One of the interesting thing, guys, where you can use JavaScript to create a lot of interesting animations, <clears throat> a lot of interesting effects, okay, in your <clears throat> pages. How we can do this? For this, you have to interact or connect the JavaScript with CSS. <clears throat> so tomorrow, guys, I'll show you how you can interact JavaScript with CSS and control the CSS. <clears throat> There's no SS prerequisite, guys, for tomorrow for CSS. But if you know CSS, that will be always great. You can add some more thing on the top of this. <clears throat> okay. But I'll try to show you guys some of the basic concepts of CSS in 5, 10 minutes tomorrow. Interesting, important thing would be <clears throat> how we can connect JavaScript with CSS. <clears throat> so this is one of the things we'll discuss <clears throat> tomorrow. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, some more concept of JavaScript and ajax this, those are things guys i'll discuss today so i'll, I'll make today class a little bit lighter <clears throat> we have to think, start things from very zero a lot of guys are very new in javascript just try to practice this <clears throat> okay but i highly recommend uh, before tomorrow class <clears throat> if you know a little bit about back end how to create a server <clears throat> how to post website on the server like this website this is again one kind of website <clears throat> that we have created <clears throat> okay, on the server. And if you know about <clears throat> CGI, for example. So if you have this knowledge, if you don't, doesn't matter, you understand the things. <clears throat> but if you have this much knowledge, you will uh, take a lot of extra interest, <clears throat> a lot of interesting, you know, uh, ideas you can guys generate by tomorrow class. <clears throat> okay, guys, because, because right now, if you see guys here, Google, okay, if you're typing something here, because with the JavaScript also, they are interacting with the backend server <clears throat> on the real time. Here they take the help of Ajax, but they also have a capability to connect to the backend server. <clears throat> okay, so I'll try to create, obviously not search engine like Google, <clears throat> but I try to get something like this, that what you type in, go to backend server, they do something, they give back on the real time. <clears throat> okay, so the, the concept of async or Ajax come in play, <clears throat> that we discuss tomorrow. 